Good afternoon, gamers. I'm back with Lost Judgment. Uh, last night, I kind of, <laughs> I tried to drag myself through, uh, I think, chapter four, but I'm pretty much almost done with it. So we're gonna go ahead and continue. Luckily, I got myself a detective dog. Uh, let's see where, yep, chapter four, Red Knife. So I gotta return to Yokohama 99. Right, let's go ahead and load this data back up. Two sides of the same coin. Oh, we were finished the chapter. All right, let's go ahead and continue. <coughs> Yokohama 99. I'm going to use my skateboard. Oh, wait, going wrong way. Use my skateboard. You know what? I need some I need some skill points anyway. Let's go guys. Nani? Nope. Can I do this? Oh yes I can. <laughs> you. Hey, get off of me. Dang it. Oh, you won't let me do it, do you? Come on. Oh, you know what? I'm wasting time. And stay down. Yeah, indeed, stay down. Stay down. Yes, it is. Don't clap for me. I'm here to work. <laughs> Alright. kind of bright in a second. Turn this bad boy right here. What is going on? Having a party? Oh, that's not Coke. Hey, welcome back. Care for a drink, Yagami son? Heads up. What's now that? Make yourself at home. Not that you haven't already. Who, me? Don't mind if I do. do you mean? Kuwana's well, fine. You just swung by to have a chat with you, man. Not that I mind hanging out over beers and shogi. Kaito's a gentleman and a scholar. I like your style. What do you want with me? <clears throat> Check it out, Yakami-san. You're only here to get to the bottom of that Hiro Mikushiba kid's murder, right? That's gotta be the reason the Yokohama Liomang attacked you, isn't it? All I'm saying is that you've gotta cut me in, man. Thanks, but I've got enough help. So some hotshot detective strolls into town and tries to leave the local guy out in the cold? <laughs> no offense, but that's not gonna fly. You gonna play your turn? Just finish your game and go home already. Wouldn't you benefit from someone who knows the scene? You know, I can get you anywhere in a jean show above or below ground. Aren't you expensive? I'll give you a first-time customer price. I'm not about to sit here and let some outsider swoop in and take all the credit alone. And that means I guess I'm gonna chill here until you give me the nod. It's Sukumo and Sukiura's place as far as I'm concerned. Not even my call to make. I welcome having more company. <coughs> the more the merrier. That'll be the agency motto. I don't really care. I noticed that like, Such I said nice this the other day, that like the, the cutscenes aren't like, lip sync like in Like a Dragon. Which was like a huge improvement, but you know. Uh, Yagamishi, guess what? The internet picked up on the Ahara link to Mikoshiba. The trending sentiment is that he killed him in an act of vengeance for his son. They've already figured that part out? See for yourself. Here, check it out. What you got for me? Excuse me. 
Son of a bitch, student teacher should burn in hell for bullying a kid all the way to suicide. Ooh. Mikoshiba was a damn psychopath. Mm. Ehara is the vigilante groper. Vigilante groper? That's not even the trolls. Indeed. So the news is blowing up on the net, huh? In the internet terms, this is only the first spark that can ignite into a fire. Not even what I'd call viral. Then who's lighting the spark? The people responsible for Mikoshiba's murder? I'll have to go down a few more rabbit holes before I can make that call, I'm afraid. Gotcha. That said, some posts are kinda suspicious. This one here, for instance. Ehara totally called the location of the body at his trial. The fact that he did that never really even went public, as far as I could tell. <laughs> was kept off the record? When Ahara got arrested, the cop turned Luckily, to the story some. and his sexual battery charges were huge Food news. It was all the media could talk about. But by the time his trial rolled around, the news had already moved on. His guilty verdict barely made a blip. Fellas, I told you I wanted to be kept in the loop on this stuff. You saying Mikoshiba had more than one killer? And where are they now? You think these lunatics are still hanging around Ijincho? It's been over two months already, man. If they were here, they're probably long gone by now. Another peaceful day in Ijincho, right? Woo, a rocket. Check outside. Kato about to whoop some ass now. It's the Leo Mug. The white mask again. Let's go, Chuck. Yeah, let's get their ass. I'll catch you later. Oh, it's time for the chase. <laughs> Not bad. Yo, Polly, what's up, man? You're right on time. We're about to chase these goons. You won't get away. Take that. Oh, ow, 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 it, 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 it. Oh, he's so Oh, he's so Bring that ass here, boy. Oh, oh no, wrong way. Oh, sh oh god, oh god, oh god, god. I still got him, I still got him. And the stamina X. Come here. You know, I learned my skills from Sonic the Hedgehog. Take this. Come on, come on. Yeah, the music is pretty chill. Wait, man, he's zipping. Oh, let me get that real quick. Oh, shoot. Can't escape from me. This man is trying to zigzag. Ah! Are you? Where you going, my boy? It's over for you. You won't get away. Oh my God! Oh, this location looks familiar. It's over. Yo, what's up, Chris? How you doing? Just uh, playing some Lost Judgment. I'm on chapter four. Yeah, he's on YouTube. Funny, it's funny to be back in this place from uh, Yakuza Can Like a Dragon. Here? Don't worry, man. I'm not planning on killing you tonight. Hmm. Okay, but why else would you take well, off your my, mask? My delicious because egg sandwich. Because from this point forward, Eugene Cho is closed. You won't be coming back. So how you guys been? 
I'm Tessa. For what it's worth, oh, yeah, I'm an Cougar officer of the Yokohama Leomon. Okay, Tesso, I got you. I hear you took out some of my masked boys the other day. Oh, you mean those guys who thought they could sneak up on me in the afternoon? Maybe if you hadn't resisted at the time, you'd be in a lot less pain than you're about to be in the near future. Who's paying you to try to take me down? This is a job that came down from the top of the org. I don't know who hired us, and to be honest, I don't give a shit either. But... Ripping up a kick-ass detective like you sure sounds like a good time. Thanks for the follow, Chris. Um, None of you guys make a move. Doing good so I far, setting up some true, stuff for the Sonic VTuber so stream later. Uh, what about you, man? Oh, I'm doing good. I'm trying to finish up Lost Judgment before I like start on my other uh, video content. And honestly, thinking I'm picking up this game because I'm liking it so far. Me too. It really has a good story. It touches on the, uh, the subject on bullying and suicide. Alright, let's go, buddy. And thank you for the subscription, Polly. Oh, God. He tapped me. No. Oh, God. Alright. Alright, trying to go offensive. I don't know what was that about. Woo! Screw this. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh god, I'm dead. Oh, oh god. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> I was not paying attention. <laughs> Alright. Oh, thank you for the gift, Polly. Oh, let me, let me see. No. Chris did. Chris did. Thank you for the gift, my dude. Oh, yeah, this is happening, indeed. I got something for him, though. Uh, let me get my sushi set. Because he is busting me down. Let's go Dragon Ball style. Get up, Yagami. Get up, 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 get up. Bro, I might get some chairs for his ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh oh. No, you don't. Oh, he did some bigger shit. Get up, get up. Oh, they are. I ain't gonna lie, they are a lot more tougher than the uh, the other game. I don't want to use my sushi set. You know what? I'm about to. I'm about to use it. I want to use it for the last one, but I got to use it now. Slam dunk. Get down. Don't mess with me ever again. Mmm, <laughs> yo ho. That was cool. I gotta watch out for those quick time events. Look out below! Here goes Kaito. And Jin. Running a little late tonight, aren't we, Kaito-san? Yeah, my bad. Had to punch my way through a few guys. Hey, you gotta run for it. If you stick around, it's not gonna matter how many lives you've got. Yeah, but if I run now, who's gonna pay for Tsukumo's window then? Uh, uh. For fuck's sake, I'll just pay for it. Now get out of there. <laughs> you got a deal. Indeed.
Do I still have my axe strike? Yes, I do. It's time to die, kids. Get dunked on. Oh, I gotta use that warrior onslaught. How do you? Whoa. Okay, I see you. I got my weapon too. Hmm. Duria. Get ducked on. Talk. Pass all clear. I'm on my way. Oh, I don't know what you did that for. Oh, I need this. Oh, oh god. Oh, oh he blocked my thing. <laughs> you guys seen that? The guy so blocked my kick. Oh my god, that was a glitch. I don't think he was supposed to do that. Oh, Alright, you know what? Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, I start lock on. Thank you. Take my high waters. No, I get to say Doria. Oh God. I'll get up. Get out of here with that sword. Damn. You know what? I got it. Break dance. Face pressure. Alright. Uh, Kaito, are you gonna help me? Alright, he's out. All right, what's who now, boys? All right, you guys are not helpful. What's this? Oh. What's up, kitties? A name? Yo, bounce with me. Ow! You broke my combo. Oh, are you? Big boy, show me what you got. get bamboozled. Come on, Kaito, what you doing? Whoa, yeah! What the hell? Oh, whoa, whoa, yeah! There we go. Oh, Chris, are you trying to get an affiliate with Twitch? Done here. I know it took me like, it took me like a couple of months to get like affiliate. You just got to be more yeah. consistent with your scheduling you and stuff. Something? And then uh, Twitter and um, other social media helps too just with hashtags. 
I'm impressed. <laughs> I wasn't expecting you to And if you do like guys. If you do like events like charity and stuff, uh, it helps out too. Thanks. But if you're feeling generous, get you more followers. Tell me who hired you. <laughs> Didn't I say this before? I got no interest in doing that. Can you do me a favor and turn down the job next time, maybe? Yeah, right. If the request comes through again, I'm taking it. Simplest solution for you is to get the hell out of town. Mm. Me and my big mouth. Just yeah, go already. Direct relief and, um... Extra life is actually, like, good places to use, uh... To help you with charity and stuff. Hey, not bad, man. A lot of young folks look up to Tesso, so gaining his respect is gonna have some perks. Mm. All I want to know is if the view mom are no longer a threat. <laughs> Wouldn't go that far. Tesso's not the only young hothead among them. But hey, at least they probably won't blindside you anymore, and that's a victory in itself. Guess that is a step forward. A baby one. Anyway, we should go check up on 99. That I'm not too sure. Me um, not clear just yet. You know, unless Sega Japan has something to say about that, but I'm, I'm not really sure personally. Oh yeah, I can ride my skateboard. See ya, jokesters. I'm out of here. Oh hell no. Nah. All these high schoolers again? Get pounded. Yeah! Taste my high waters. Rebox kid. Dang, Kaito. He still got ran over in the process. Up here. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. I did a I did a whole charity stream for uh, COVID nineteen regarding Yakuza. Sugihara. Oh no, not Sugihara. Oh. Nagamichi. Oh, thank God you're back. Tsukuma, what happened? He's knocked out cold. Damn it. Uh oh. It's getting serious. Masked men attacked us. I couldn't fight them. Masked men, you say? Were they any different from what the Liumang wear? Uh, I, oh. I couldn't get a good look. Sukiyoshi, they stuck up on him with a bat and came after me next. Oh no. They caught me. My pinky. No. They broke it. Hey, are you okay? I'll call an ambulance. There are these photos and a message I was told to give to you, Yagamishi. They said to tell you, this is your final warning. Oh, they got a picture of Hosino. They've been spying on me. It hurts. Shit. If they want me, then come after me. I'm Talk. about to get their asses. I think the Leomon were part of the plan as bait. They probably only came to lure us away from the office. The worst part is it fucking worked. Mm. Damn. Yeah, I did a charity stream for all the Yakuza games for uh, COVID nineteen. Um, it was it was very long, especially Yakuza this five. But show everyone coming in. It was, uh, it was worth it. We we actually made it to like three thousand dollars. There's me and Kaito chasing down the Leoman. But here's the hitch. Uh oh. The purge. There were seven of them, and they didn't have those trademark white masks. So clearly, they're not Leoman. <laughs> they must have got the white masks to lure us out, meaning they're the ones calling the shots here. Wouldn't surprise me if they were also Ahara's accomplices to murder. That'd be something. No, it's hard to believe a single murder could involve so many people. Really? Why do you say that? More friends, more loose lips. 
One slip of the tongue can bring down an entire group. Taking a man's life would require absolute solidarity for every single member. Hey Chris, have you played Soccer action? Wars? Could be they're Ahara's buddies in blue. After hearing what happened to his kid, they couldn't help but feel for the guy. If it were me, yeah, I'd sympathize. But not enough to watch a man die. Or do the deed myself. I think it's on yeah, sale for like 20 some dollars. Actually, I can look it up for you real quick. About the mob over here. <laughs> Definitely get into Soccer Wars. That's a classic IP. That Even though that good, the new huh? game is like some like like kind of like a reboot, it's a sequel to like the older games. Are the best bet in the house, but if it's not them, and it runs on a Hedgehog Engine well, too. There is the Seiryu Clan, but they have some decorum compared to these guys. And then the Komi Jewel, the Koreans, they would never get caught on camera. They're shy like that. Go figure. Impressive list you've got up there, Mr. Handyman. Too bad they're all dead ends. Hey, if there's a crime in Kamurocho, would you know who did it off the top of your head? No. Uh, uh. <clears throat> Alright, so these guys kill Mikoshiba, huh? What sort of faces are behind those masks? This footage <clears throat> is the lead we've been waiting for. Now we're gonna hunt them down with Tsukumo and Sukiura. You get hit in the head or something? Find them and they'll mess your ass up. Will they? Don't you get it? They were planning to take you out, man. The Liu Mang letting you off is nothing short of a miracle. Or would you rather risk your neck over nothing? Where we come from, risking our necks the bare minimum. <laughs> <laughs> you Ijin Show guys must not see much action. Yeah, well, any Ijin Show, a handyman's wages don't cover life and limb. I don't recall ever hiring you. Yeah, and if you asked me now, I'd say hell no. This shit's to the no, no, no. My head and yours. <clears throat> Sorry, Kaito-san, but I'm gonna have to pass on drinks for a while. Send my regards to the lads. Oh man. Well, hey, never chase with leaves. <laughs> that's right, Kaito san. I, I swear, Kaito is the funniest dude in the whole entire game. Alright, rest on the couch. Yeah, we might as well. I already did some arcade stuff the other day. <clears throat> Just want to get through the game. Excuse <laughs> me. Hey, will you ever be interested in being a special guest for one of my oh, Sonic the, the VTuber streams? Was it a cold <laughs> Trying to get more people into joining me on some stuff. This rate, I'll be forced to type one-handed. That depends on my math, work schedule, my but like, is worth more than an let, me know, let me know what your schedule hand. is, and I'll see what Talking I can do. about at least a 30% drop in efficiency. <sighs> it's been a while since I got it this bad. I might even throw up. So... Leaving Kamurocho made you rusty, huh? Really, with that? Oh, yeah, Chaos I Traders, yes. Away. I would, man. Hey, if you've got the energy to complain, you'll be just fine. Yeah, definitely check out Chaos Creators, guys. I'm gonna make this My up friend Joby's working really hard on it. Us. Well, if you want to do that, we'll need to figure out who and where they are. <laughs> Polly, you caught my interest. <laughs> There's a high possibility this group is directly behind me because You know what, let me, let, me, let, me, let me go ahead and course, support my girl real That quick. would mean they know Ehara as well. How about swapping more info with the Kanagawa police? Let's save that for when we really need it. We're not the authorities here. Give her a follow, so my friends. we need to play our cards close to our chest. I think that's a wise decision. Okay, that went on. And then went on Twitter. Sorry, sons, on top oh, yeah, of getting set up with Ahara, right? Let's see. In that case, let me get right back to Kamurocho. Take your time prepping. We can always regroup up there. There you go. All right. She also streams too, so let me let me go ahead and type this up for you guys as well. Give her some support. Give her some more follows. There we go. All right. Boop, 
Boop, boop, boop, boop, boop. I see, I need, I need to find a store. Pharmacy, yes. You know. Oh God, oh God, oh, oh, oops, my bad. This is it. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, I can't go upstairs. This is a big place. Yeah. Too long, you can get three. Well, he got those to you too. All right. What's this chicken place? Go to camera show, guys. We like to go to camera show. <clears throat> I've been a camera show in a hot minute. So hopefully I can get this game done. I'll tell you Wednesday, right? Hopefully, hopefully by like by Friday, at least. Then Sunday I'm probably gonna stream uh, something What's special up, for Soccer on? Awards. Something wrong? 25th anniversary. Call me crazy. Oh. But doesn't the city seem noisier <laughs> to you? The hell? So. Kaito is this sort of like Sega GTA? Oh no 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 no, my friend, no. Oh, it's uh, it's wrong. definitely not GTA, my well, friend. <laughs> point trying to explain shit that um, doesn't make sense. If it, I mean, if it was anyway, like, I need to go talk to Sorry. I would have been beating up everybody in the streets. But uh, this is more of a detective game. It has some beat 'em up elements. Think of it as um, think of it as like Streets of Rage, but like it has like a narrative to it. Like, uh, you know, like, like a crime nor. Oh god, what's this? Hold on a minute, Todd. What? Yeah, it, it, it gives out that vibe sometimes. But it's, it's a lot more narrative than, uh, than GTA. Something's up. <laughs> really? Huh, maybe so. Hey, don't I know you two? Oh, Stardust. There's detectives around here, ain't you? <laughs> yeah, so what? You ever seen this guy before? Who's that? A few years ago, he was the manager at some girls' bar nearby. I don't know who that man is. You really need all these meatheads just to find one dude? <laughs> Must be one slippery eel. <laughs> Damn right he is. Now, do you know him or not? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Out of curiosity, what's a guy doing running a girl's ball? I don't think he actually ran the floor in. You can also compare this All to like a linear version of Shimmo. But you don't, have to, you don't have to depend on like what? a time limit. Five years ago. I mean, disappearing from Kamurocho isn't that uncommon. Five years? What do you really expect to find? Your guy have a name? And who gave the order to find him? You try to be cute. We're the ones asking the questions here. Don't fuck with us. Oh my God, Who's fucking with who, asshole? 
You want to ask questions? You're gonna have to ask nice. Oh, we got some more goons. Nice or not, information has a price. It's our bread and butter, so we don't give handouts. Oh boy. How about I butter your brains on the sidewalk? Don't touch me. <laughs> Straight to throwing punches, huh? Even the Yakuza treated people better than that. <gasps> Fuck off! All right, street thugs. Let's go. Streets of rage. Let's go. You know what? I'm about to get drunk on these fools. Why oh, I drunk too much? Uh. Oh well. Oh, whoa, yeah! Come on, Kaito. Oh, okay. Oh, let me do that again. Ooh, I could combo on two things, yeah! Are you take down? Come on. Oh. oh, damn. Come on, Kaito. my friend Dumbo clues what's up man oh, I could have done that Maybe next time next time <laughs> hey what's up that all you guys got I need my NC hammer tough. pants look at these punks uh oh another fight you want some? Gaito san. Huh? We got another friend, my friend. It's Akatsu. First name Daimu. Daimu? You know him? Former Tojo clan guy, ex Yakuza. Never heard of him. <laughs> Put us on World Star? Ex Yakuza? No. Well. If you say so. Yagami Detective Agency. Maybe I ought to just hire you guys for this. We're looking for a guy. You heard, didn't you? Danmu Akusu. Miss Guy, you're after. He was some kind of girls' bar manager here in town. I take it this manhunt is your idea? No. Soma's taking point on this one. Bruh. Came from one of his connections. I realize this is There's still on like big pile of chapter cash four. Whoever finds him, practically all of Kamuro chosen on this race. And so <laughs> Corey's already wearing MC the Hammer pants. The it's just on off cam. <laughs> of course, he's former Tojo clan too. First name. Can't touch this dude. Dude, 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 dude. Can't touch this. Tojo clan join this thing. Kaito would know all about all the bullshit rules it takes to keep the Yakuza running. They'll take their cut from you and call it the honorable thing to do in the same damn breath. Right, Kaito? In this new age, wouldn't you be better off joining us? You guys are too small time to pull that shit on me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what else, though? In the Yakuza, if your boys went down, it was on you to get revenge for them. I don't give two shits about that these days. I would say, if there's someone disrespecting you, you might as well go get the jump on them. I would walk right up and stick them in the gut. <laughs> you want to fight? You want to throw hands? Let's go. I wouldn't even see it coming, detective. Bro, is that a Persona 5 yeah. reference? So don't go disrespecting me. Same to you, my friend. There won't be a warning next time. I'll kick you with my Reeboks. 
Okay. Oh, yo, thank Not you, Chris, for the donation, my dude. Did he get very far in the Tojo clan? <laughs> nah. He may have had the potential, but he never got to make anything of it. The whole thing came crashing down before he got his time in the sun. Soma's the same way, actually. They both tried to climb up the Yakuza ranks, but then the families disbanded. Mm. And by the time that happened, all the pawns were cleared off the board. Hmm. So, now they're ex-Yakuza in the wind. And along comes this gang without all the rules and systems they were dealing with. You end up with RK, a network of thugs. A network of thugs? RK? What does the acronym stand That's for? That's a keyword. <laughs> Who the hell knows? After the Yakuza, I guess they wanted to sound more Western. If they think they can replace the Tojo clan, those are pretty big shoes to fill. Yeah. Yep. But I wouldn't say they've been discriminating. Civilian punks who want quick cash are easy recruits. RK's happy to scoop them up. Next thing you know, you've got an asshole army. That's unfortunate, but... Speaking of the Tojo yeah. clan, have you talked to Higashi lately? Yeah. Higashi! As far as ex-Tojo clan guys go, he's one of the good ones. Yeah. The family left him in charge of that arcade, and now that they're gone, he's basically the owner. I heard he even gave some of the younger family guys jobs. So wh where's MCU? If you MCU? get a chance, you ought to show up there. MCU still in the while. game? Nah, Higashi. I am the last person in the world that guy wants to see. Oh man, we got to see Higashi. Stephen Bloom. Oh yeah, the uh, MCU is a. Uh, he's a rapper in Japan that basically like uh, does music for like, like eight bit and sixteen bit games. Uh, let's go ahead and find Higashi. <clears throat> Are we headed to Naginda? Yeah, we're in Naginda. Uh, what's that purple? Keep up, my dude. Who's you? Dude in the purple. Oh shit! <laughs> Can't touch this. Can't touch this. Uh, can't touch. Oh god! Can't touch this. <clears throat> oh no! <laughs> Toto mate. All right, time to pick up this bike. Yeah. You ready? Are you? you? Make the crowd go. Okay, I see you. Get down, son. Can't touch this. Oh, it was a heat action. Kaito, what are you doing? Takes my high waters. Slide on him. Really, guys? All right. I'm done for today. Yeah, let's hit it. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> I want to show you guys something real quick. Shut up, Kaito. Keep up. My favorite arcade game of 2019. Yeah. 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 Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm not getting jumped today. Are oh, they still going after me? Here we go. Alright. Let's talk to Sari real quick. That was hilarious. I had to show you guys House of the Dead Scarlet Dawn. I'm still waiting for that uh, remake to show up. Oh, sorry, son. Yagami san made it. Is there anything sorry, you guys are waiting. looking forward to for Nintendo nonsense. Direct? We good to go? This week? I've been good to go for a while. Okay. Ahara is waiting, and so are the answers. First thing we'll want to try to get is how involved he was in Mikoshiba's murder. Smash Bros? From the way it's been so far, I doubt he'll be eager to tell you. If you won't open up, we'll have to play the trump card. Yagami I wonder. I wonder who's Ahara the last character going to be. Him. I don't mind being the ace in the hole. Are you and your ego ready then, Yagami-san? I bet it's probably gonna be like Waluigi. Well, this ain't my department. 
Fill me in back at the office, okay? Yes, sir. <laughs> I might even tidy the place up a bit if you're lucky. Lots of open bottles to polish off. Alright, whatever, Kato. Oh, uh, we're going? Uh, yeah. You said we gotta go. Okay. <laughs> she's like, she's like, oh, are we going? And I'm like, I'm just looking at her like crazy. Like, I'm like, oh, yeah, we gotta go. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, can someone clip that part <laughs> when she said that? <laughs> <laughs> she said <laughs> I can't stop laughing <laughs> she said she said she said oh are we going and I'm just like look at her like crazy because she was rushing me calling, calling me my ego and stuff <laughs> oh my god Oh my god, okay, let me stop, let me stop laughing. Oh my god. That was funny. Alright. Oh man. That was good. I needed that. Oh, I thought you'd lost already. So, what more could my lawyers want from me here? Well, normally I would say the same. However, a corpse turned up as you said it would. <laughs> it turns out you have a pension for prophecy, mm. Harasan. <laughs> Prophecy, huh? Kinda dramatic. Hey, Hara. Oh, I, I expected him to like be introduced earlier on. Okay. No Hoshino today? Did you fire the poor guy? Yagimi's my name, sir. In a past life, I used to work with Genda and Saurisan. But today, I'm in Serio High School in a contract advisory role for one of their clubs. Serio High School? It's the same school Toshiro-kun went to four years ago. You'd know it. I happened to be out there working <clears throat> a separate case. But that was when Shirosake-sensei called, and so that's why I'm here. Well, well. Okay. Why are you here, then? That'd be obvious at this point, I'd think. As you know, Mikoshiba turned up as you said. His body was found in a warehouse. The question is, why did you know that well enough to proclaim it in court? <laughs> you might say it was a miracle. <clears throat> I wished hard enough for it to come true, and suddenly it did. Care to tell us why you'd wish for a miracle like that? Do you really need me to explain why? Mm. Mikoshiba, you blame him for Toshiro-kun's death, don't you? I do. Even though when you took the school to court, no evidence turned up. All right, Corey, I'm going to head off now. Actually, no got some occurred. work to do. Didn't Have a great rest of the stream. All right, Polly, nice it. seeing you again, my dude. Mikoshiba tortured my son. <laughs> he would beat him up, and then he'd demand all his money. That damn kid was a star student with high grades. My son's own class wouldn't stand up to him. To avoid being beaten, Toshiro used to. He'd steal money from me or his mother to make sure he could pay Mikoshiba off. <laughs> Ahara-san, you seem to know a lot about what happened to your son. Do you have any proof? Would I have lost if I did? That school can rot in hell for all I care. <clears throat> Speaking of, you know what I'm convicted for. It was being a pervert. I admit to everything. I groped a businesswoman's ass in plain sight on a full train. Damn. There's no way I'm fighting for an appeal. He said it straight, too. So as for my defense, I'm in no need of lawyers anymore. <laughs> Just a second. Why would I give you that? Yagami-san. Hiromi Kashiba died in a lot of pain. His final moments were truly horrific. The last thing he felt must have been fear. After slitting his throat, his body was left to rot. Nani? Doesn't that sound great? It does not sound great. My gut tells me Ahara's guilty for sure. There's no doubt he's connected to Mishihiba's murder. I need to go. I need to hold his attention and convince him to stay. Gotta make him understand I have more info than the police do. Oh man. Uh, 
Uh, I don't know which one to use. That the police don't have. Yeah, the police don't have this one. I mean, they got... It has to be this one. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show them this one. Mind taking a look at this? That's supposed to be security footage? I've deduced that these are the killers. Oh. Seems they didn't want me probing around Ijincho. They even hurt my friends to send a message. Not only that, they turned a local gang against me. The first time they tailed me, I was heading to a meetup with Sawa Sensei from Serio High School. <sighs> you remember Sawa Sensei, yes? She transferred to Serio four years ago, not long before your son passed away. There we go. Yeah, not a face I'd soon forget. She told the whole court he was never bullied. True. She did say that. And it's not just her I detest. The administrators. The lawyers. I felt like choking the life right out of them. But if anyone needed to pay, it was Mikoshiba. He got what he deserved. Damn, Joker. It's nothing short of insane that they were just gonna let him get a teaching credential. It all comes back to a flawed and broken system of laws that has no business calling itself justice. And it was you, wasn't it? You orchestrated every aspect of how Mikoshiba would die. But you didn't act alone. Who were the people behind it? How'd you convince them to kill a man? <laughs> That's a good one. You, my friend, are way off. Yeah, do it right. It'd be funny if it said game over. Oh, I didn't. Yeah, I don't think he killed him. The game like wants you to think that, but you know, it's always a surprise twist. The way that interview went, Ahar is definitely guilty. But if we can't connect him to the murders, we're left with no leads to follow. Yeah, kept that secret on lockdown no matter what I asked. What could possibly link Ihara to those men? Damn it. And I was so close, too. To think they're still somewhere in Ijincho. I need to find them before the trail goes cold. So you're heading back to Yokohama? Yes, ma'am. Not tonight. Kaito's waiting for me in the office. I'll be in town for now. Okay. If anything changes, I'll contact one of you. Alright, let's go back to the office. Where my master system's at. Dang, there's too many people, man. Can, can I skateboard in peace? Oh, it's the pawn shop, is it? Hmm, can I get something from the pawn shop? Let's see. What's up, my guy? You don't say it. I'm here to buy. <gasps> ooh. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, I'm buying this. Yoink. This too. All right, that's all. I, I want to test this out real quick. Oh no, we need to equip. Look at that green lizard, baby. Can't use it as much because people are in the freaking way. God dang it. Alright. Uh okay. Alright, there we go.
Kaito-san, I'm back. Kaito-san? Oh, uh, hey, did you see that email from Tsukumo? Huh? Uh, it wasn't that long ago. It's something you gotta see, though. What is it? Something happened? It's the murder footage. Mikoshiba's murder ended up on the internet. It's going viral on all the social media sites. Oh, God. You gotta forgive me. I'll do anything you want. I didn't know you'd do it. I swear. Toshiro Kun was okay. I didn't think. I didn't know he'd kill himself. I really didn't know. I swear I'll try to make it up to him somehow. Spend the rest of my life making up for it. Oh, oh. Please don't show it. Please don't show it. Oh. What the hell? Oh, oh God. Good Lord. Even though it's just a video game, it's just, it's just. Oh, I hate that. Oh. I hate throat slitting. I mean, I watch horror movies and stuff, but I just hate it. A horror. It was a horror. A horror has an alibi for this, doesn't he? They already found him guilty, and that's the whole reason he couldn't have killed Mikoshiba, right? But if that's the case, what the hell is this? Is it mirror face? One way or another. Either this thing is staged, or his entire alibi was a massive cover-up. They can't both be true. But there's something I just can't shake. If you want my opinion on it, this looks real. <sighs> I need to have another Definitely not that deep Hara. fake shit. Damn it. I'm not gonna let him get away with this. Hey, chapter four is really long. All right, there we go. That oh, chapter four was stupid long. All right, double jeopardy. Yeah, that was intense, guys. I, I didn't expect that neither. <laughs> I was like, I was like, oh, just just hold it on and closing my eyes at the same time. A train groping and a murder seem to occur simultaneously. Yagami relentlessly pursues these cases, attempting to poke holes in each. After confronting Akihiro Ehara, the key figure in both crimes, he witnesses a harrowing video that provides more questions than answers. In it, a bound man pleads for his life, but his attacker bound by vengeance snuffs it out mm. all right chapter five double jeopardy with the cat on the side <laughs> yeah I'm, i don't know man like i know in the, in the last game yakuza like a dragon spoilers ahead um uh it was you had to fight this uh this villain who can like disguise himself, they called him a uh, mirror face. So the murder footage is already making the rounds online. I don't think it's showing up on TV though. Yeah, the net's a mess right now. It's all unsubstantiated rumors and unverified sources. Typical, really. An ex cop going from by the book sex offender to vigilante avenger overnight is prime forum drama. Sentiment seems to be swinging in favor of Ehara, but there's plenty of folks on the fence about it, too. Reactions have been all over the board. Do we know if that video is authentic? I mean, CG has come a long way, right? Oh, or perhaps a deep fake. That is plausible. <laughs> a deep AI fake. has reached the point where it can generate pretty convincing facsimiles. True. Someone even made a video that made it look like the U.S. president was saying a bunch of crazy stuff. <laughs> and that's just the tip of the iceberg. Deep fakes are only getting more authentic looking. I see a lot of those. Can't guys like you tell if a video is fake or not, though? Aren't there any signs? Oh, there are several telltale signs of a video being doctored. 
so I ran every check I could think of on the murder footage. And wouldn't you know it, nothing came up. Most likely, we're looking at the real deal. Most likely? Well, no one can claim with absolute certainty that it wasn't altered in some way. Which means it's not substantial enough to prove Ihara's guilt. At least not in a court of law. So I got an email. Gotcha. Do you know when and where the footage was uploaded? It was posted sometime last night, but the source is too hard to pin down. The uploaders spread it across multiple servers overseas in a well-concerted effort to hide their tracks. Makes sense. But I'll bet it ultimately came from Mikoshiba's killers, no matter how real or fake it is. How do you figure? Think about it. No one could have staged that unless they knew the specifics of how Mikoshiba was killed. From how he was positioned to little things like the blood on the ground, every last detail was just as the detectives described it. That's a good point. All this browsing's really taken a toll on the old pinky. Hmm. Why would a killer go through the trouble spreading this footage? What good would it seem to serve him? Causing a public uproar? Obstructing the investigation? Wherever the case, I still have some interviewing to do. Looks like another visit to Ehara might clear things up. You should ask Shirasaki-sensei about it. Yeah, that was my thought too. Alright, I want to check this out real quick. She got an email about like a Steam game. Redemption of the Damned. Okay. Alright, Kaito. Let's talk the story again. See ya. Oh. Ah, let me get this straight. Ehara went and felt a lady up on the day Mikoshiba got killed on purpose? If that's the case, why the hell would he upload a murder confession after the fact? Is he trying to get caught? Only Ehara could answer that one for you. I want to ask him that question myself. So, we're off to see saori san then? Yes, man. Oh, yes, sir. Oops. What is it? You know what it is. You know what time it is. Alright, now they use the skateboard. Should have some free reign now. Yeah. When in doubt, what? Oh, Kaito's following me. Crap, I can't use it. You suck, Kaito. You're not supposed to follow me. This would be. Oh, this would have been a perfect time. Uh, suckers. Actually, I need the skill points. Rebox kick. I swear the music got real better. And space Crusher. Ooh, slide on him. That was funny. All right, now let's go see Sauri Song. That's right. Let's go. Sauri Song, Sauri Song. I know, man. I've been training with Sonic the Hedgehog. That's why I'm so fast. With these Reebok shoes. They call me Detective Reebok. Get some exercise going for you. Oh shit. <laughs> uh, hold the door, please. Huh? Mafia. Mafia, you're here? It's been too damn long, Mafia John. Yeah. Uh, by any chance, Yagami kun, are you working on a case for salary? A video got leaked. It depicted a man committing a murder. Mafia, you. Yagami's baby girl.
Mafiyu is a public prosecutor for the Tokyo office. She's also best friends with Sari san ever since college. Two talented lady hotspot. <coughs> I said hotspots. Uh, two lady, uh, two talented lady hotshots of the law on opposing sides of the courtroom. Apparently, they have a bit of a fan club. Are you here about the Ahara case too? Of course. The prosecutor's office is in total chaos right now, especially the higher ups. I'll bet. After all, they're the ones who pushed for Ahara's battery conviction. If that video is real, that would mean Ahara got them to hand him a slap on the wrist instead of a murder conviction. Yes. And it's not like the prosecution can say, Sorry, Your Honor, we'd like a do-over, after the fact. To make matters worse, everything leading up to the trial was broadcast all over the news. Changing our tune now would undermine public trust. That's for sure. So, for the time being, our department is trying to predict how the defense will approach the situation. Hence why they sent me here to check in on my good friend Sauri. Totally no strings attached. <laughs> well, that clears up a lot. Oh, here's Hoshino. There you kids are. Figured you had to show up sometime. Mafia? You're caught up in this too? Yeah, she ran into us downstairs. I'm sure you can work out that I'm here to spy on you. <laughs> but wouldn't you like to know what we're up to as well? Are you sure that's your only motive coming here? Sorry? Uh oh. Something like a professional excuse to see Yagami-san? <laughs> <laughs> in your dreams? I had no idea Yagami-kun was involved until just now. All right. I'll accept that. For now. <laughs> Gotta say, I miss this little banter. Oh, jeez. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> Needless mm. to say, our office is going through this footage with a fine tooth comb. That said, they've already determined their stance. So let's They've like deemed it an unreliable times. source and therefore useless as evidence. Basically, they want it to look like it was considered and already thrown out. Huh? So they're not going to verify the video? Not even question Ahara about Mikoshiba? Nothing? Nope. Not after it was proven in court that Ahara committed sexual battery on October 7th. I mean, wouldn't you say a conviction has a certain finality to it? Hmm. Besides, there's no way Ehara could have murdered Mikoshiba within that limited time span. Right. Which means the murder video doesn't really add up, does it? What are you getting at? I'm saying the prosecution believes the video has been falsified. Special effects, CGI, whatever it is, we're not buying it. Huh. Furthermore, the prosecutor pushing that stance was the one who handled Ahara's trial. And that is... His name is Sadao Takano. He was the one gunning the hardest for Ahara the first time around, especially considering his officer status. He kept insisting justice be served, which got the public behind him rather quickly. He certainly looked the part of the people's prosecutor, grilling Ahara in court. So what you're saying is, Takano could never accept anything but Ahara's original sentence. Since this footage of the murder contradicts that finding, he just thinks it's a sham. Yes, and he'd add that a fair trial's result can't be challenged by some video on the internet. Well, who could honestly trust a system that changes its mind so easily? Both the prosecutor's office and the court are beholden to the case as Takano Kun presented it. But that's just sweeping the issue under the rug. It has a domino effect, too. The police are beholden to the verdict we got, so their hands are tied. This applies to both Tokyo and Kanagawa. Really? Why is that? Supposedly, they don't want to get involved with Ehara until they're sure the video is real. They come in with a list of questions about the murder. It'll show that doubt's being cast on the original ruling. Yeah, but no one can prove that the video's real. Right. There's no way to verify the legitimacy of an untraceable video. But if the police aren't allowed to see Ahara, he'll never even become a suspect in the murder. That means he's untouchable. Exactly. 
None of the detectives are happy about that. Especially down in Kanagawa. <clears throat> their job is to bring in a suspect, but their leads are all ending up at the same dead end. Video footage of the murder preventing a police investigation instead of starting one. What a absurd situation. Until recently, people were lining up to bring a heart to justice. Yet somehow his involvement in a murder totally derailed that. Don't be so surprised. No cop would ever want to undermine a ruling based on their own findings. Anyone who wants to go against the grain is going to need hard evidence on their side. So the case goes cold. All to save face for the court and the prosecution. If Ahara really did commit murder, it'll have been the perfect crime. This debacle only serves as proof. True. It would turn the trial into a farce. There's no way we're letting this go. But wouldn't challenging this mean going up against the entire system? Yeah. That scare ya? <laughs> Not at all. In fact, I was just thinking, we're the only ones who could take a case like this. Ha! <laughs> That's the good shit, kid. That's right, Hoshino. This whole time, we've been writing off Ahara as a convicted sexual predator. But it's looking more and more likely the court played right into his hand. As for me, I'm done being played for a fool. Then you've heard what I came to say. And with that, I will be on my way. But if you need help, just ask. I think we're good for now, but thanks. That did clear up a lot. No problem. See ya. Hey, was Mafuyu-chan cuter than ever, or what? Think maybe it's time to light that flame again, huh? How many so times do I have to tell you? It's not <laughs> like that. Shut up, Kaito. You need to highlight uh, Sawa-san. Oh, wait. Oh, God. I don't think I'm supposed to go downstairs. Was I? Oh, oops. <laughs> Move out my way, man. You got me distracted. Anyway, what I'd like to do is ask Kahara about that video face to face. Any chance we could see him again? I was actually about to suggest that. Uh, one moment. Who's calling you, Sauer? It's from Ahara's prison. Oh. What? Hello? Yes, this is Shirosaki. Yes, I can talk. Is prison? Why would they call us directly? Guess we'll find out. Understood. I appreciate the candor. That was one of the prison wardens. He was asked to convey a message from Ahara. About what? In short? He won't be speaking with his representation any further. You're joking. To be more specific, he said he's not taking any more questions. It seems he fully grasps the situation, even in custody. How... how is that even possible? I'm guessing the murder footage that was uploaded yesterday was also planned out in advance. That or Ahara's conspirators have to be filling him in. How else could he predict we'd try to see him again so soon? Mm. I can see either of those scenarios making sense. But only someone on the force can be leaking insider information to him like that. Damn. This shit's turning into a full-blown conspiracy, eh, Doc? That's right. Whatever it is, it's screwing up our plans. Yeah, the timing couldn't have been worse. Now what are we supposed to do? Come on. There are plenty of leads that don't involve grilling the culprit. Yeah? I'd like to hear them. Well, if it were me... I'd start with Sauriku. Okay. She got. The first thing I want to learn is whether Ehara is really the murderer in this footage. Given the entire sexual battery incident as an alibi, there is no way he could have murdered Mikoshiba. However, this new footage knocks the bottom out of that premise. Right. Either his alibi or the murder footage. One of the two's been fabricated. The groping or the murder. Right now, which one we doubt more? I think the murder was fabricated. The footage of the murder must have been manipulated somehow. It could have put Ahara's face onto the real killer. 
or even rendered the whole thing digitally. So you're suggesting we should distrust the murder footage? Hmm. And how do we prove it's real or fake? Well, I'm sure Tsukumo's cracking away at that, so yeah. Let's find some other angles. I'd say there's only one angle left. Regardless of who actually murdered Mikoshiba, we have two conflicting accounts here. Which one is fake? I think we should revisit the harassment case. When the sentence came down in court, no one expected it to end up as a murder alibi. Plus, everyone suspected Ahara was working alone. He may have not been. All this makes a huge difference. No one would suspect a train groping to involve accomplices or alibis. The search for evidence wouldn't be as intense as for a murder. But the entire incident was caught on camera, top to bottom. There's more than enough physical evidence, too. Then we'll need to verify each and every aspect of the case. Okay, what first? Should we investigate the crime scene again? Maybe we'll discover something new if we check out the station during the crime's actual time frame. No, I think we saw everything we could there. Actually, if we're reviewing evidence, we could do that from right here, couldn't we? What catches your eye specifically? I ask because fabricated evidence would likely show signs of tampering. This would prove Ahara's alibi doesn't hold up. I tapped to really structurize this case. What evidence was Ahara relying on falsely as alibi? Hmm. Oh God. This one? This part's still getting to me. All right, Chris. Ahara's transit card. You have a good Let's day, my see. dude. And good luck with your uh, Sonic VTuber. Meaning the system locked his entrance automatically. If you meet my schedule, this feel free to October DM me. On at 7:43 a.m. We know the earliest time Mikoshiba could have been murdered was 7:30 a.m. But traveling from Ijincho to Ikebukuro in only 13 minutes? I mean, it's beyond unrealistic, near impossible, really. Then. All this card proves is that Ahara simply passed through the gate? Well, yes. But as he did so, Ahara was caught on multiple security cameras as well. So the card is corroborating evidence for that. I see. Thought I was on to something. Thought so too. Try this one. This part's still getting to me. The Shinjuku station diagram? Did something happen at the platform? Well, the majority of the incident was caught on camera. But I don't think we have any footage of what happened around here. It's not much, but it's a blind spot all the same. Hoshino kun and I confirmed that at the scene. Okay. But how would this blind spot change anything? first thing that comes to mind is, gives Ahara a chance to swap with the stand-in. The real Ahara murdered Mikoshiba in Ijincho at 7.30, then headed to Shinjuku Station. Then, just after 9 o'clock, he swapped places with the stand-in, getting caught on purpose. So you're suggesting that there were two Aharas at Shinjuku Station? Yep. And the true assailant, the Ahara look-alike, disappeared into the crowd. Wait, if what you propose is true, does that mean Ahara had never touched the victim? Yeah. But the police inspection revealed trace fibers from the victim's clothing on Ahara's hand. Ugh, trace inspection. Yeah, so no matter what, the fact that Ahara touched the victim remains standing. The victim felt his hand reach under her skirt right after the train departed Ikebukuro. 
She was scared motionless for the entire commute until arriving at Shinjuku Station. Thank you, you too, man. The victim for me? She's an office worker married to an industrial designer. Also has a six-year-old son. Full name, Yui Mamiya. 30 years old. A wife and mother. Perhaps if we talk to Mamiya-san directly, she could give us more insight than that video. She may even recall something none of us know, upon learning Ahara's alibi might have been fabricated. That's a good plan. We'll finally have a fresh source of info. In that case, give me a moment so I can get a meeting set up. We should have her address and other information somewhere on file. Bear in mind, Mamiya-san was the victim here. As the assailant's defense, I doubt we'll get a warm welcome. That's pretty standard for us, I'd say. Nobody rolls out the red carpet for a detective, right? <laughs> yeah. Say, Kaito-san, it looks like we've got some free time, so let's say we grab some food. Now that you mention it, I am getting hungry. I'm down for that. Kill some time with Kaito. Huh. All the goons. Just looking. You think they want something? Bet it's not a friendly hello. They do look like they mean business. This arcade's idea of an ambush? How basic. Kaito san. There's more. Over there, too. Same dude. You want round They're two? Losers from yesterday. Same. Yes, they want to settle the score. They Looks don't want like they this. rounded up some buddies and waited for us to show. Well, whatever the hell they want, let's not get Genda Sensei and them involved. Follow me. Okay. I'm getting fed up with this shit. Why haven't they made a move yet? It's like they're waiting for something. They were gonna beat whatever it is. They've taken their sweet ass time. For real. Uh oh. Hey! Quit dicking around and come get some! <laughs> what the hell? They're just gonna keep stalking us? Nope. Thanks for waiting, assholes. Oh, oh shit. You better put that baseball bat down. Let me guess. Catch You're his hands. Okay too? Bastard went straight for our heads. Are you nuts, guy? Shut your mouth! RK members. Let me show you something. Oh, shit. Get up. You? Oh damn it. I messed up my momentum. Oh yeah! Face crusher! Jackie Bryant style. Who do you have? Are you? Laid out. That's one down. Yeah. I 
not out of the woods just yet. Yeah, I know y'all want some. Damn. You really went all out on the backup. Is the whole town arcade now or something? Doc, we should probably get gone before the cops roll in. Why? It's not our fault we're getting jumped. Waves. I thought I had it with this crap. I'm fine with that. Yeah. At this rate, we won't be meeting Sorry Son and the others. Wouldn't want to drag them into this. Point. So why not get RK at home? Yeah? Why not? Soma and Akutsu are at the top and they probably remember me. I'll just ask him real nice to keep their goons off our back. Unless you want to keep dealing with We need to get a Gosky mess. I'm fine with making a house call. Any idea where it is? Yeah, a club in the back of Theater Square. It used to be RK exclusive. Nowadays, I hear they let in thugs from all over. I admit, I'm kind of curious. I know y'all want some. I know y'all want some. Y'all know y'all want some. Good yeah. Let's do it, Kaito. Lady in a way. Come here. Oh, yeah. Untouchable. Let's 
Oh, he got ran over. <laughs> he got ran over. <laughs> that was funny. This way, Kaito. K.O. What a waste. All right, we gotta move on. Finally here. This is it, Talk. Get ready to meet some shady people. Yeah, shady is definitely the operative word here. Can't imagine this place gets a lot of foot traffic. Who knew an entrance to the underground was right here in broad daylight? All right, let's get in there and be done with this. Yes, sir. We got over here, fellas. Hey, who the hell are you two? Got some invitations? The Yagami Detective Agency doesn't need any. Say, is Akutsu or Soma around? Detectives, huh? Their problem here? This is a public business, isn't it? About time you showed up. We've been expecting you. <laughs> you back for round <laughs> Nothing three? Nothing like running into an old friend. <laughs> You want to talk to Akutsu-san, fine. But only Kaito gets in. Why? See, we all knew the Yakuza out in the cold would come around to us once the Tojo clan cleared out. <laughs> know what makes us such a hit? Who gives a shit? We got a system fleshed out. Your average gangbanger starts at rank F. But an ex-Yakuza, a Tojo head at that. Fast track right to B rank. Oh. And just for you, Kaito-san. The boss says he'll start you out at A. Yeah, I'm sure you've got your pick of the chumps. But I'm here to talk to a fucking adult man. So get stepping and take me to Akutsu. Spoken like a man with some balls. <laughs> you can see why Akutsu's had his eye on you. What? So I really have to just wait in the lobby? You should thank your lucky stars you're not dead yet. I don't know about this, Kaito-san. What if you need backup? Going to the game turf without backup? That's too dangerous, even for Kaito. They have no clue how many members are back there, or what they're doing. Relax, Doc. 
All I gotta do is talk man to man with Akatsu real quick, and we'll be out of here. You heard the man. Now come on. Oh, it's gonna be that quick. I'll just wait right here. <laughs> do whatever you want. You're shit for business. Ah, oh, come on. Don't you want to be friends? It's been 10 minutes since Kaito-san went in. I have no clue what's going on. There's no sign of him returning. Guess that means... Hey, uh, think I could use your restroom? There's one inside, right? Go shit on the cement for all I care. Restrooms are for guests only. So, you and RK too? I take it business is good lately. Oh, hell yeah. Recruits are swarming in by the dozen. If you're looking for quick cash at Kamrocho, RK is where it's at. Plenty of hotties too. Wow. And all you do is fool around on your phone. <laughs> Talk about living on Easy Street. Psychology. Screw you. Hey, not my fault they don't loop you into the good jobs. Bet those only go to the A-rank guys. You must be, what, F? F-minus? The fuck did you just say? Oh, did I offend you? Sorry. Guess some gangbangers are softies. <laughs> I'll show you who's soft, asshole! Ooh, knockout. Sorry. Getting split up from my buddy does make me kind of an asshole. <laughs> he got him good. <laughs> he let him sleep. I should never let Kaito son come in alone. I have to find him now. Not like sitting around will do in the case. Uh, do the case any good anyway? Uh, I can't read today. Whew. All right, time to get Kaito. Let's go. Oh man, this again. Oh shit. Oh man. First, I need to find Kaito san. Uh, he's supposed to be talking to a Katsu right now. Are all these guys RK? It'd be a pain to take them all on. Besides, if I make a scene, who knows what might happen to Kaito san? I need to find a way around them. Uh, I need to find a way around without getting noticed by them. Let's start off searching that room. Looks like no one's in here. Let's see if there's anything in here can help do me some good. Suspicious. I don't got it. I'm just gonna try to set something in your pocket. Hey. Hmm. Oh, I thought I could have sent him, but. Put a passcode in Oh! The vents. Uh huh. Ah, I see it. What the? Oh yeah, <laughs> the crate challenge. There we go. Okay, that ought to do it. I should be able to reach the duck like this. All right, time for some duck work. Cheesy. Oh 
shit. Hey, where'd that new guy get taken to? Uh, I heard Akutsu-san wanted to see him. For real? Was he taken to the VIP room then? Sounds like it. Alright, I see. It looks like Akutsu-san was taken to the VIP room. Even I've never gotten in there. What makes him such a big shot? The VIP room seems to be that way. Alright, let's check it out. Alright. Let's go metal gear on these fools. There's a bartender. Uh, I guess he's setting up. Maybe it's just. That's what it kind of looks like me. <laughs> what? And I look nothing like him. I just had an idea. Let's see if I can track that guy down. Uh, take care of this guys real quick. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Gotta take your clothes. Sorry, man. Take a quick breather. <laughs> he got you wearing diapers. Oh, I look handsome. I like Asian G from House of the Dead. Let's go. Okay. Just need a tie. Wait, can I? Oh wait, let's get this. Uh, can I get my camera out? Ah, oh, damn. Oh well. I got on some thorn. Great, even more of them hanging around. Uh, if I get surrounded here, it's all over. I better be extra careful if I have to deal with any of them. Hey, you there? Uh, yes. Can I help you? You better stop fucking around. Didn't I ask you for another round? Huh? Another round? You forgot my order already. I want my bottle. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Wait a minute. You know what? Fuck the bottle. How about you just mix me a cocktail? But of course. I got you, my bud. I guess I have, don't have a choice but make this guy drink. Hang on. Maybe this is just what I needed. If I put him under the table with some strong booze, I can clear out of here. It's worth a shot anyway. Hope you know some hangover occurs. Here's fella. All right. Let's see, do do do. Let's go ahead and get him drunk up. Oh my God. Soda, 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 soda. Oh my God. This in the North Star Lost Paradise. Shake it like a salt shaker. Drinks up, fool. He sleep. Phew, I actually managed to get him through that somehow. My disguise worked against one guy, but that guard looks look harder to trick. I won't be able to get into the VIP room unless I do something about him. I should lower him into the shadows on the other side and take him out there. But that means I'll have to cut across the floor. Gotta be careful about this. Ah, oh, shit.
Kobe. Get the coin, fool. Not done. Not done, indeed, fool. Kobe. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck! Ah, I got caught! Oh, God! Ah, no, I'm dead. Oh, no. I got a game over. <laughs> I tried to take him down. It won't let me do it. <sighs> Gotta do this again. Alright, let's try this again. Get it, get it. Number. Number. I go see the big guy. Alright, what's next? Yes, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> I hate to say it, Akutsu. I'm in a price bracket you couldn't afford if you wanted to. <laughs> I'm not saying you'd need to call it quits on the detective gig you've got going, Kaito-san. You can just give us a hand, help us out a bit when R.K. needs some real muscle on the field. That a fucking joke? On what planet would I sign up for more busy work? Think you might want to tone it down there, big guy? I've got my boys in the room. Being talked to like this isn't a good look. Why would you care how you look? You're a bunch of damn Yakuza. <laughs> you and Soma are picking up the Tojo clan scraps, yeah? Or do you have a real plan? We'd have the manpower if we wanted to. With all your washed-up Yakuza and punk-ass kids? I don't see it happening, man. What are you fucking thinking? Exactly why we need more guys like you. Help me show this crew how the big boys roll. I need some authority on this to get it built the right way. So you want me on as a drill sergeant for scumbags? Count me out. Kamurocho's underground river of cash is still flowing, but there's no more Tojo clan upstream to collect it all. There's no more rules. We can run this town however the fuck we want. And once we've got ours, we can slip back into civilian lives to live it up clean as a whistle. Hmm. You want to be a civilian again? You're kidding. Oh, yeah. Want to have the cash to buy your favorite store? Pop out a couple of kids and settle down with a family? Never would have been possible in the Yakuza life. Well, why the fuck would you need me to do that? After you step into the shadow of the underworld, you never really escape from those chains. Don't sell me your bullshit like I'm one of your fucking brats. Huh. Sounds to me like your whole damn pitch just ran out of gas. Go out there and build your dream gang if you want. I don't give a shit. That said, if you keep bugging me about this shit, I'm gonna make sure you regret it. Keep your fucking distance from us. <laughs> Did you say Kaito. us? Are you refusing to join up because you have a partner? 
bring Yagami along for all I care. Did you hear a word of what I just said? I'd reconsider that stance if I were you. If you aren't coming along as a friend, then you're my enemy. I don't take work from assholes. Have it your way, then. Hey, round up the boys. Sir. Yeah, get the boys. Hey, get off your asses, eh? What's up, buddy? Too late for that. I knew exactly how this little chat was gonna go down. Son of a... <laughs> yeah, well, I knew exactly where you'd be for a chat you weren't invited to. <laughs> well, if you're done over there, shall we get back down to business? I'm gonna upgrade my you're EXE. Not out of here. Uh, if you don't know how to use that thing, you're gonna cut yourself, man. You sure? You fuckers are the ones who don't know shit. This whole damn town belongs to the arcade now, you know. Now the whole town belongs to you, huh? You fucking morons. You're gonna have to pry this town out of my hands! Oh, Kaito back in action! Alright, let's go and whoop some ass. Oh, give me a minute. Before we start, boys. We need to... Oh, lord. There's so much. I gotta get my EXE. Oh, Dyson Cube? Oh. EX Burst Immortal. Oh, Lord, I want to save that for later. I need some health. Oh, wait. Honey? Yeah, let's boost my attack up a little bit. Knock him down a pig. Get tripped up. Come on, Kaito. Take him to jail. Backbreaker. Are you? Fatality. Let's go, Kaito. Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> Beautiful. Yakuza. 
Oh, he fucked up the crouches. Disarmed. Alright, he's dead. Dumbass, you down already? <laughs> he wrecked for no, round three. Come on, let's fucking do this! Bring on the boys, let's go. What the hell? Shit. Nope. Alright, Kaito, we need to do something about this. Oh, you fat boy. Look at this man, like, freaking Sansa like Shao Kahn. Ah! Get down, son. Break dance on you fools. No, 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 no. Scissors kick. High chance style. And screw this. Ooh. Oh, God. Need some health, need some health. Need some... Uh, I don't know what to get, I don't know what to get. You know these caps. Oh, he did. Three box kick. All right. Come on, Kaito, you got this. Oh, you big boy. You better get break dance too. Taste mine. Rebox. There we go. Alright, buddy. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was beautiful. Now I understand why you wanted Kaito on your side. Still got anything you want to say, Akutsu? I can appreciate your perspective on this, Kaito. In that case, you better leave us the hell alone. Yeah, we can do that. We get it. It's fine. Right, Akutsu? Why are you here? Aren't you busy? <laughs> Just checking in. <sighs> you made quite a mess here. Tak meets Soma. He's the leader of the RK. Yeah, I kind of figured. You keep saying we, but I don't think you know what's going on. You just gonna waltz in here and bark orders? Kaito-san turned down your offer, didn't he? And the other guy is Yagami from his own detective agency. Before right, that, he was an air on real quick. So he now he's with Kaito-san independently. It's my job to be running HQ, though. You shouldn't roll up unannounced. I'm supposed to leave you to your own devices? I do have to check in, at least to show my face. <laughs> Got a cold? It's a dust allergy, actually. Tough thing to live with. Oh. And I used to catch hell for it in the Yakuza. Quit that infernal sniffling, they'd say. <laughs> yeah, that couldn't have been easy, man. I bet they would beat the shit out of you if you didn't blow your nose. Here we go. <laughs> you know it. I do wish we'd had the time to work together, Kaito-san. You as well, Yagami-san. It may feel like we're a small-time outfit in the media term, but RK will grow. We'll show you. But in the meantime, we'll leave the two of you be. Does that work? Fine, leave some sense. <laughs> Best of luck with the growth. As the leader here, you need brains and brawn. <laughs> Something else? 
Your gang was out there searching for some guy in a picture. Well, how'd that hunt end up turning out? He was some kind of girls' bar manager, wasn't he? It sounded like he'd disappeared from Comrade more than a few years back. You have any luck tracking him down? Ah, we actually found that he's unfortunately dead. Likely murdered. Considering Kamurocho's reputation and the nature of his profession, I can't say I'm all that surprised. <laughs> Got it. I guess I was just kind of curious. Always happy to oblige a detective. Feed our team members. I guess we shouldn't have taken our case so lightly, even though they're new to the scene. Yeah. Supposedly some is the one who spearheaded the campaign to scoop up all the ex-Tojo. Turns out he's teaching the next generation of thugs about protection money, loan shock, mugging. He's like an unemployment agency for shitheads. They've got 50 full-time bodies so far, but if you include part-timers and other associates, they may be well over 2,000 strong. That's a lot. Even half that's a lot. Yakuza left behind a gaping power vacuum in this town. Even if it wasn't our case, someone else would have swooped in. So much for peace and quiet in common, Chuck, huh? Sorry, sounds calm. Hello? It's Shiosaki. Sorry for the wait. I found our file on a horror victim. Ah, oh, Mamiya-san, right? Yui Mamiya? Yes. She lives with her family in East Cape Grove. I'm about to make a quick house call. Awesome. Then I'll be right over. Good. See you sooner than later, I hope. I caught all that. You go on ahead, Doc. This one's outside my area of expertise. Okay. I'll head back to the office when I'm done. Oh, Alright. Got some more goons? Oh, this thing is fast. Oh! Oh, God. Ah. Uh, okay, I'm okay. <laughs> Alright. Oh, perfect timing, Yagami san. And here I was about to go without you. Are you ready to visit Mamiya san? Time to head for the home of Iraq's victim who doesn't know who we're dropping by. Alright. Papa. Let's go. Crazy taxi. Yeah, 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 yeah. a victim here, Yagami-san. One whose assailant we defended in court. If we had tried to make an appointment, she probably would have declined outright. Hmm. Not sure showing up unannounced is much better. Well, let's just hope she's willing to talk. <sighs> yes. There's no way around it. It's a risk we had to take. Well, here goes nothing. So this goes. <laughs> yes? I'm Shirasaki from the Genda Law Office. The attorney for Mr. Akihiro Ehara. You may remember me from the hearings. Why are you here? Don't you know it's rude to show up at someone's door uninvited? I understand. But we have a pressing matter that directly concerns you. If we could do this another way, we would. I apologize for any inconvenience. I'm sorry. The trial's over and done with. You know I can legally turn you away. You're right. But I'm only asking a moment of your time. Please, would you mind? Even sorry, son, can whip out a solid approach for this. Are we really out of luck here? I don't have time for this. 
I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Wait, 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 wait before you do that. <laughs> Sorry to butt in. I'm Yagami, a detective helping Sari here out. And? I can't let this be the end. I need to talk to her and to open this door somehow. Are you aware of the trending video that's leading people to believe Ahara committed murder? Thing is, the victim was confirmed to be alive in Yokohama until the morning of your own incident. And since Ahara was on the train with you, they're ruling him out as a murder suspect. So, what is it you're getting at? Just trying to ensure you're in the clear from any of that unfortunate business. If we could do this now, we'd never bother you again. All we need is ten minutes of your time. How absurd. We're only trying to help, but if later would work better for you, we could always come back another time. With our supervisor, of course. That visit would probably be more formal. Paperwork, audio tapes, you know the truth. You'll want to clear your schedule. I really don't have time for any of that. No, I understand, and it's entirely our fault. We thought we'd do this casually, but we really should have been more by the book. But it is a murder case, so we do have to make sure our paperwork is in order here. Mm -hmm. Now, would you prefer to schedule a date to accommodate a more formal interview? Uh, you said ten minutes if we do it now, right? We'll make it as painless as possible. All right. Hold on. We really do appreciate it. Well, I'm impressed. I'm also not sure I should trust a word you say ever again. <laughs> really? I did get us in the door, didn't I? I'm joking. I do appreciate the help. Do, 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 do. Now let's not screw this up. This is likely the only conversation we'll have with Mamiya-san. Yes, ma'am. Now open that door. Oh, look at Hello. her boy. Andy Barkley? Is that you? Hi there. Hi. Again, we apologize for the intrusion. Let's just get this over with already. You, Maya. Mamiya. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, we'll make bye -bye. this quick. How cute. We can use a conversation opener with Maimia. Uh, let's take a quick look around for something useful. What the? Play like some off of Chin Chan. Doing, kid. What the? Suspicious. TV. Alright, I already inspected that. Uh huh. Hey. What's this?
So, talk. I've already told the police and the court everything they could want to know about that morning. I'm sorry to put you through this again, but would you mind going over those details with us? What else is left to discuss? I understand how pressured you might feel. I've gone over this so many times. I wonder if pressing charges was even worth it. No. What you did was both brave and inspirational. Many victims are afraid to come forward for any number of reasons. Your voice might give them courage to find their own. Ironic. Hearing this from that predator's defense team. Well... Perhaps. Would you mind walking us through that day from the beginning? It's nothing so mysterious. I was just on my way to work when some man grabbed my butt. That's all it was. Dang. Nothing else was out of the ordinary that day? Correct. Not to pry, but where is your husband I'm gonna be myself for a minute real quick. Still at work? He usually doesn't get home until later. On that note, I have to feed my son, so let's get this wrapped up soon. We'll try our best. Okay, I'm back. Moving along. On that day, you and Ahara-san boarded the train bound for Ikebukuro, correct? Had you ever seen the man before then? No. At, at least not that I can recall. How many times must I go over this? The lawyer friend here already knows everything I have to say. What do you gain by getting me to repeat things? That's the thing. Yagami-san here is a specialist. He can take whatever you repeat, analyze it, and draw up an entirely new conclusion. Right? Of course. That's exactly why I'm here. Great, now the pressure's really on. It seems to be a reoccurring thing lately. In the security footage, as you stepped onto the train, it looks like Ahara-san stepped right behind you. Were you aware of his presence at this point? I was. It felt like someone kept pushing up against me with no sense of personal boundaries. I remember second-guessing myself at the time. Thinking it was normal for the train to be that packed. Then the train took off while you were stuck in that situation. Yes. And then I felt the back of his hand against me. It kept getting worse from there. To the point where he went under my skirt. And the pig had the nerve to write it off as an accidental brush on a crowded train. Mm. But that kind of touch wasn't accidental. He even grabbed at me. Truly awful. And I do sympathize. I've also had to turn in an abuser like that. Personally speaking, some men can't wait to debase themselves at the first opportunity. Why would you say that and look at me? Oh my god. Why would I you say that and look at me? <laughs> I couldn't see who was touching me. I had no idea what to do. I wanted to scream. But what if he just played it off? So I decided I would bear it till the next station. Are you okay, Mommy? I'm fine, sweetie. We're just having a bit of a grown-up talk. Are you hungry? Uh-huh. Do you understand later? Then read your book and wait over there for Mommy. We're almost done. Like this is going to be ending soon no matter what I should keep my questions brief up to now I haven't heard any contradictions uh, between uh, Miyama's Miyama's Mamiya's account and the security footage you said the abuse lasted the entire six minutes between Ikebukuro and Shinjuku station did you see the groper's face at any time during that span no I was too terrified to look and I thought, even if I did, he'd just pull away and escape. But just as the train was pulling into Shinju, I reached back and grabbed the hand on me. That's when I saw his face. Of course, he shook me off as the doors opened, but I'd already gotten a clear look at him. He must have known I could turn him in at that point. So he ran, and I chased after. Right. That was captured by the station security cameras. Great job tailing him in such a crowded space. On that note, did you ever happen to lose sight of Ahara-san while running? His cat was pretty easy to spot, and no one else was bolting off the platform on that, so I, I never lost sight of him. At that point, I could feel my voice return, 
so I just screamed. That man grabbed me. I'm glad there were good Samaritans nearby. Yeah. For sure. And there were a lot of smartphones out. So I figured there was no way for him to get away with it. I was so relieved. I see. I think I've got the gist of it. But now we've got a piece of evidence that contradicts what you've told us. What do you mean? You, Mamiya's storyline lines up with her testimony from the trial. But there is one thing that contradicts. This one? I can't remember. <laughs> Despite what we just went over, wouldn't you say this contradicts your account of the incident? I'm not sure what you mean. Did I say something odd? No, Yagami-san is currently the odd one here. Oh, shoot. I messed yeah, up. Yeah, that wasn't what I had in mind at all. If you'll allow me to rephrase. this one. Well, on the same day, 6.30 a.m. in Yokohama, a student teacher named Hiro Mikoshiba was sent off to work by his mother. But he was soon abducted near his home, only to be found dead much later in Ichincho. Is that...? According to the video, the Harasan here is the murderer. What? He killed Mikoshiba in cold blood to get vengeance for his bullied son. His kid was about to graduate high school, but instead, he took his own life. So Ahara took it upon himself to punish his son's torment. That's awful! But now we come back to the issue here. If this footage is authentic, then Ahara-san couldn't have been your assailant. The victim's estimated time of death and Ahara-san's time of arrival in Tokyo simply don't allow for it. It's just not possible for someone to make that commute. But there's the flip side. If Ahara-san was, in fact, your assailant, it would mean this murder footage is a fabrication. I don't know what you expect me to say after all this. Right? Now you know how we're feeling. That's why we came to see if you had any leads for us. So that's what this is about. After hearing your story, I have no doubt you endured a lot that day. Which would obviously mean that murder video is faked. Then, who shared that video, and why? Wish I knew. Based on the quality, something this convincing would need quite a budget. Whether it's CG on top of real murder footage, or just a rock-solid AI creation, no way it was cheap. So why go through all this effort to fake a murder? Who would benefit from it? But I have to say, I feel much closer to piecing this puzzle together with your help today. Thank you very much for your time. Yes, and rest assured, this will be the last time you see us. Our apologies for the unexpected visit. It's okay, and dear. dredging up unpleasant memories. It's fine. So long as this is really the end of it all. Not yet. The party's just starting. I'd like to report Mommy Aslan's account to the rest of the team. Can I count on you to be there? Sure. Let me give Kaito-san a heads up. All right. Then I'll see you there. Yo, me. Hey, I'll just go back to Comrade Joe. Everything good? Any news? All good here, man. What's with you? You worried our kid got to me or something? I mean, they did run their mouths by stabbing us in the back. But if you're good, I'm good. Anyway, I'm heading to Genda so Sari-san and I can go over what we learned from Mami. You're the boss. 
As for me, I'm calling it a day. <laughs> you do that. All right, let's see. Where we go to next? Talk to Sari and the others. Are we ready, Yagami-san? Let's start with our visit to Mamiya-san, if that sounds reasonable to you. Yeah, let's start there. Yeah, let's start there. So, the victim's story is completely in line with her court testimony, huh? That's correct. There wasn't anything new to pick up. Unfortunately. In which case, should we look into the murder video instead? Like, figure out how they made it? Yeah. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Whether that tape's fake or real, someone had to put it online, right? Do we have any theories on who that might be? Well, the footage showed enough of the surroundings to make the crime scene clear. As somebody who's been there, I can confirm that the blood splotches match what we see in the footage. Which means... Who uploaded Haraz's murder footage on the, to the internet? Say the prosecutor, because he was kind of sus. A prosecutor in charge of the harassment case? Takano, was it? He posted Mikoshiba's murder footage online to ruin Ahara's reputation. Why would he need to ruin him? He was already convicted as a sex offender. Do you really have that low of an opinion of prosecutors? I agree. That doesn't make much sense. Yeah, I don't think it makes any sense at all. Uh, of course it doesn't. I was just testing you guys. Good to know you're still keeping up. Hey, this isn't the time for your shenanigans. You get a yellow card for that one. Has to be detectives. Those detectives for Kanagawa. They'd spoken with Sari-san about the case already, right? Maybe they uploaded the murder video so they could get to Ahara and question him about Mikoshiba. Don't forget, up until the video went public, HQ refused to let Kanagawa PD anywhere near Ahara, so they were totally cut out of the loop. But now that everyone's seen Ahara commit murder, the time for department competition is over and done with. If that's the case, the detective's plans went south. Remember the position the higher-ups are taking? Because of the prosecution's stance on the video, the police can't make a move. In other words, all the detectives would have done was make it harder to question Ahara. Not only that, don't you think it'd be way too risky for a police officer to leak that sort of video? Yeah, I doubt the detectives did. But at least we've eliminated one potential misstep. We're that much closer to the right answer. <sighs> I get that you're trying to reassure me. It's actually just making it worse. Is it? Then the plan's going great. can't possibly upload the video himself. The murderer's accomplices have to be the ones who posted it for him. Yeah. I can't see it any other way. I also agree with Yagami-san. But in that case, what would their motive be? Maybe they wanted to make a mockery of the police, or even the whole system. Hmm? We know Ihara got himself convicted for groping, so he had an alibi for Mikoshiba's killing. But then, his conspirators turned it around by uploading the murder video online. Almost as if to say, look how he got away with it. I see. Yeah, that does make it sound like he's taunting them. That's well and good, but I'd like to shift gears. Let's talk about the actual fabrication of the video. How does one go about that? Well, for example, the true culprit would be taped murdering Mikoshiba, 
Then Ihara's face would be copied and blended onto the killers. That's how they'd approach it in a Hollywood movie. But then, wouldn't you be able to see traces of it being faked? Tsukumo-san reported that he's found nothing of the sort in his analysis. We've been down this road before. If we take the stance that the footage is fabricated, we have absolutely nothing to work with. Then let's tackle this from the stance that the video's actually real. If that's the case, there has to be a flaw in the groping issue. I think we've collected enough evidence to find it, too. Before meeting with Yui Mamiya, didn't you mention the possibility of Ahara using a stand-in? Perhaps the real Ahara murdered Mikoshiba in Ijincho, then swapped places with the imposter so he could be detained. But we couldn't find an opportunity for the swap to happen, remember? From the moment he set foot on the Ikebukuro platform, Ihara was constantly on camera. But wait, that's not entirely accurate, is it? Huh? Ihara wasn't constantly on the camera between Ikeboro Station and Shinjuku. The proof is... Remember how we mocked up a diagram on the Shinjuku station platform? Yeah. No, oh, wait! That's it! You could be onto something. There's a point where Ahara wasn't on camera at all. What is this point you speak of? Let's all go over the diagram so that everything will be clear. Here's what I want you to see. Suspicious. What the? It's very brief, but there's a moment where Ihara and Mamiya-san can't be seen by the security cameras. The dotted lines on the arrow represent the camera's blind spot. It does appear so. So you're saying this is where the Groper, the fake Ihara, traded places with the real one? Can't say it's impossible, right? Right. Except if that actually happened, Mamiya-san would have been right behind them at the time. Could the two really swap places without her noticing? Crowd like that, I think it's feasible. If that really was Ihara's plan, then I'd say he was being careless. Careless? How? Oh. Well, on the day of the incident, the station was packed for morning rush hour. That means there was no solid guarantee the assailant could make the switch. He could have been nailed by any random passerby before reaching the blind spot. Good point. Not only that, if Mamiya-san had called for help while the train was still moving, then the first Ahara would have been caught before even reaching the platform. Oh, I mean, yeah! Called it. Think about it, Yagami-san. Why would Ahara's accomplices meticulously plan out every last detail of this alibi, only to leave such a crucial component to chance, as Hoshino-kun pointed out? No, oh, just doing my job. True. Good work, Hoshino-kun. In fact, I think that may back up my own take on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Yeah. What if everything, including the appearance of leaving the plan to chance, was part of the plan? Can you expound on that? I'm saying I agree that such an airtight alibi wouldn't have allowed for contingencies. And that takes the question to another level. Just how far did they line up the pieces in advance to make the swap work? Are you saying there's more to it than we discussed? What did we miss? If everything on the day of the murder, including the train groping, was planned from the start to finish, what else can be possibly deduced? Every last bit of footage, from the eyewitness recordings to the security cameras, was fabricated by the prosecution. If that's the case, the blind spot we found is irrelevant. And that's because the real footage of Ahara tagging in for his double is all but lost to us now. 
Why would the prosecution go to all that trouble? To hide because she was murdered? Or maybe they sympathized with the Horace play? You're saying his court adversaries orchestrated an elaborate cover-up out of sympathy? All right, I realize that's a stretch, a huge one. No need to burn me at the stake. Was that all? You made it sound like you had this whole thing figured out. Okay, no, pretty well. Something just hit me. Ahara secured his alibi for the murder by swapping with a stand-in at the Shinjuku Station blind spot. For them to be able to pull that off, a certain possibility comes to mind. Right, so what exactly would that be? I know this won't go over well, but what if Mamiya was colluding with Ahara all along? Huh? Bear with me. Let's say Mamiya was in on this, and knew about the imposter in advance. If that's the case, the swap could happen right in front of her, and no one but the three of them would know. You're saying the victim of a groping conspired with her assailant beforehand? That's ridiculous! Let me just say, I'm only trying to work out how a swap like that will be guaranteed to work. Now, if Ahara and his stand-in both know that Mamiya will pretend not to have seen them, they can trade places in the blind spot with impunity. Conversely, if Mamiya wasn't in on the plan, the idea of a swap would never work. We can say with certainty that she would have seen the swap, so... She could have even called attention to the real Ahara the moment he stepped in. That way, the people around her would be focused on chasing the correct assailant. The rest is as we know. They caught Ihara and detained him until the police showed up. Hold that thought. If your theory is accurate, what about Ihara's trace evidence? Remember that fibers of the victim's underwear were detected on his hand. Well, that can also be explained by Mamiya being in on the plan. For example, while the standard is showing himself at the security uh -oh. cameras, Mamiya could have easily provided Ahara access to a pair of underwear at the same time. Maybe the stand-in loitered around for so long because he was letting everyone else get themselves in place. It's not impossible. We can work out the other details later. But the point is, Ahara's murder alibi is shot if Mamiya was involved. In summary, it's possible that Hara disgraced himself to secure an unshakable alibi for Mikoshiba's murder. I'll concede that it's an avenue worth pursuing. And when it comes to the prosecution, they can't just admit they got the first case so wrong. Plus, they can't question Hara. Yeah, this is about definitely Mikushiba's some critical murder. thinking. In fact, their only <laughs> option is to claim the tape was faked. So he managed to make a farce out of the system after all. His court case for his son's bullying did get more or less thrown out, didn't it? The school, the investigative committee, and the court all agreed. There wasn't enough evidence to convict anyone. No surprise for me that the guy held a grudge against the system for so long. Hold on. Before we all decide on this... What's up? The obvious question to me is why would Mamiya be party to such a crime? She appears more than financially stable. And she's even raising a child. So why would she do something so enormously risky as helping establish a murder alibi? Yeah, I haven't gotten that far yet. But maybe she was promised something that far exceeds the risk. Or maybe Ahara has some kind of dirt on her even? Enough to make her help with a murder? What sort of secret would be big enough to force someone into that corner? 50-year-old, 53-year-old patrolman and Mary office worker and her mother the only connection between them so far is the train station itself. What info do we have on Mami anyway? Maybe we can spot a connection to Ahara through her profile. I'll pull her information. Just a second. <laughs> oh. I just thought of something else those two would have guaranteed by working together. What's that? If Ahara wanted to use this crime as a murder alibi, he needed it to blow up into the public eye. But, if he had chosen a victim who stayed silent, then nothing would have come of it. A solid plan would need to eliminate that variable. Which means Mamiya being an accomplice was crucial to Ahara's success. 
that's true. Looks like a horror pulled one over on the prosecution. Had his accomplices right where he wanted them, even his victim. Once we learn how he's connected to Mamiya, we can root out the rest of his team. Let's see. According to her file, her maiden name is Yui Suzuki. 30 years old, so that's consistent. Originally from Ota, Tokyo. Attended a private high school called Kurakawa Academy. Later graduated from Toto University. Huh. Hmm. Met her husband on the job, apparently. Her husband, Taichi Mamiya, is an industrial designer at Techno Zeta Inc. Six years ago, she gave birth to their only son, Sotaka, who's now in first grade. Hold on. You said she went to Kurakawa Academy? I heard that name in Ijinchu. If I recall correctly, Oh, yeah, we go. I remember an answer. When I went to scope out the murder scene, there were these three guys watching the detectives and me. They told us they were just checking things out. They mentioned their Kurokawa grads, too. Do you have any ID on you? Uh, will my license work? Kakei-san, age 30. Kakei-san, age 30. Mommy is 30 as well. What's that got to do with anything? Aren't we trying to find a connection between Mamiya and Ohara? I found the Kurokawa Academy website. Looks like they're pretty prestigious. It's in Tokyo, specifically in Ota. Pretty close to where Mamiya lived. Oh. What? The girls there get such cute uniforms. You little... You want to start all over from the bar exam? Wait. I've seen that uniform before too, actually. Where? On an old picture of a teacher in Serial High. Sawa Sensei. Hara's son can find it. Is she actually a Kurokawa grad too? I don't know Sawa Sensei's exact age, but she could well be 30. Maybe all of them are even classmates. Could this mean they're actually linked? The victim and her up to now unrelated assailant? It's a tenuous link at best. Could fall apart any time. But no true detective alive would pass it up. All right. Don't this chapter. Previously unseen link is established between the Grober and the victim. Charting out their relationship is akin to tracing a spider's web. But with each false thread ruled out, only the improbable truth remains. Ehara orchestrated the groping as a diversion, and by tarnishing his name, he secures both an alibi and his ultimate revenge. Converging heat. With the cat on the side. Hiro Mikashiba's murder was sparked by the bullying of Toshiro Ehara, who committed suicide four years ago. The graphic video that hit the net showed the world how Toshiro's father, Akihiro Ehara, had brutally avenged his son. We also know that the father had accomplices. On October 7th, at 6.30 a.m., they forced Mikoshiba into a vehicle, took him to an abandoned building, and gravely injured him. Then, around 7.30 a.m., the time like frame when Ahara killed Mikoshiba, the other conspirators were probably nearby, even though they weren't on camera. At the same time, 30 kilometers away at Ikebukuro Station, Kamiyama, man. a man Sakura who looks worse. like Ahara is caught on camera. We'll call that guy the stand-in. The stand-in. <laughs> the stand-in made it's sure like he movie. was in front of the camera for more than an hour before boarding the 9.06 a.m. train. 
The same one Yui Mami was on. After committing sexual battery on that train, he meets the real Ahara in the camera's blind spot, and they change places. That's how he established a false alibi for Mitoshima's murder. And to achieve this, the victim, Yui Mamiya, had to have been in on it from the start. Hmm. Sure are a lot of people getting their hands dirty for Ahara. Mamiya, Ahara is standing on the train, the guys who kidnapped Mikoshiba. How did some troubled cop manage to recruit so many allies? Well, one person that comes to mind, who might be the key to all this, is Yoko Sawa. She's a teacher at Serio High. She was the only adult Toshiro-kun ever oh, told about the Sawa movie, again. and she supervised Mikoshiba as a teacher before he disappeared. On top of that, she's a Kurokawa Academy graduate, same as Mamiya. Those trespassers at the murder scene were also from Kurokawa. Since they're all about the same age, it's possible they were all classmates. So you're saying these classmates are also Uhara's murder accomplices? If we consider Yokosawa the central link, that's very possible. We do know that as a teacher, she felt deep remorse for Toshiro Kun's suicide. Maybe she recruited her old classmates to help Ahara take his revenge. Yeah, best not to rule that out. I'm hoping that's not the case. Why is that? It's just... She's a really good teacher. She's passionate, responsible. She's always putting the students first. I know she regrets the past. That a student died on her watch. And now another of her students, Mikushiba, was found murdered. So if it turns out she's involved in that, I doubt I'll be able to trust my own judge of character ever again. Yagami. Yeah, I'm going back to Ajin Show tomorrow. The plan is to bring up Mamiya's name to Sao-sensei and see how she reacts. Until then, let's not jump to conclusions about her involvement. All right. Uh, can I chime in real quick? I was looking into Kurokawa Academy, and I stumbled across something that may be relevant. What's that? Well, it happened 13 years ago, but there was an attempted suicide. Who tries to suicide? The third year jumped off the school's roof after being thoroughly humiliated. Oh, he had a coma, I remember. Actually, Sawa-sensei mentioned that. She said it was a boy in her class. Right, that's gotta be the same case then. The student's name was Mitsumi meet myself Kusumoto. again. He's 30 now, but still in a coma. Huh, and all that info's on the net? It wouldn't be normally, but his mother happens to be Vice Minister of the Ministry of Health. Ever heard the name Reiko Kusumoto? Not once. I have. It was on the news. They were talking about her and her son. Alright, I'm back. Vice ministers rank above most government officials, so this lady has quite a position of power at, at the Ministry of Health. Well, do you remember right. the uproar in the health ministry when Vice Minister Ichinose got arrested? Sorry, again, Apparently, his successor couldn't contain the resulting chaos, which is when Kusumoto-san got tapped to lead. They couldn't afford another criminal scandal, so her promotion was out of the blue. She was a safe choice, a veteran with tenure and experience. Not to mention, her son's tragedy made people see her as a more sympathetic figure. Very popular. She's kind of a new generation heroine, so to speak. Huh. Hmm. Is any of that relevant to the case at hand, though? Who knows? But Reiko Kusumoto and Ahara both have children who were bullying victims. I don't think that's a connection we can afford to overlook. Yeah, could that be me. the lady with the wig? Okay, so Kusumoto's son, what exactly happened to him? Let's see. He was bullied by a fellow third year at his school, Shinya Kawai. The records say he harassed Mitsuru-kun every day, in and out of school. Well, one time he even stuffed dirty rags in his mouth. Ooh. That's so cruel. Yeah, and the teacher was a real piece of work. Apparently he knew, but he just smirked and said, don't overdo it. Oh, I remember now. The media pounced on that one hard. 
If they were classmates, then both Sawa-sensei and Mamiya would know about this. And maybe because they couldn't save Mitsuru-kun, their guilt left them open to Ahara's persuasion. But to prove that, we'll have to hear from them directly. I'll talk to Sawa-sensei first thing tomorrow. That'd be helpful. In the meantime, I'll be working on Ahara's appeal. It's clear they missed something important in the trial, since Ahara is apparently innocent of sexual battery. Being that he was out committing murder at the time. What started as a simple harassment case sure has blown up big. All right. Guess I'll head back to the office for today. All right, guys. I'll, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and get me something to drink. I am parched, so I'll see you guys in a few. All right, back with a vengeance. And let me go ahead and get this chat box back up. We're good to go. All right, let's head back to the office. Willy Wan Wan Wazzle. Back to the office. Oh, oh God. Got me another Pepsi. Pepsi man. All right, let me try my new skateboard. Do 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 Puppy power, let's go. Oh, wait, 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 Chotomate. Oh, no, you don't. No, no, no. Shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm feeling the rush. Woo! I can do some tricks with this shit. Yeah. Oh, shit. hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta do that again. Let's go. Oh yeah. I'm having too much fun with this shit. Hell yeah. Ooh, kill him! Oh, stop! <laughs> oh man, I'm too much fun with the skateboard. Okay. I just had to have a little fun. <laughs> oh god, oh. Do I get more games? So I get more games. Oh, just out this kid. on the couch. Sleep mode. Took your sweet time, but I got the gist of it. You're going to Ijincho, right? To meet with Sawa Sensei. Would well, you like to know? Akasan, you do realize that only I can meet him. You can't get into this school. I know. Oh, man, Kaito's so thirsty. If you end up taking it off campus. Will you at least call me this time. If you two should understand the situation, Sawa Sensei might be tied to murder. Huh. You 
sure you understand it? Come on, she would never do that. That a fact? So happens I'm a creature to you. Especially when it comes to women. Ah, oh, sometimes I forget who I'm talking to. Hmm. Uh oh. Uh, I drop a crumb. Okay. Said it, you didn't show. Oh, come on, man. I should watch, watch this. Oh, what? Oh. Come on, bring it out. Watch this, watch this. Oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, over your heads. Play some quartet. I wish I could. I have to unlock it. Right now, I'm just focusing on the uh, story. I did play a few mini games on the other stream, though. Well, first stop, it's gotta be Chinatown. Can't face Sukumo on an empty stomach. Never a dull day for you, huh, Kaito san? It's a selection, man. I've already worked out the math. I figure if I hit four or five places a day. What? What's up? Check that out. It's Akutsu. Akutsu? What are you doing here? Tomorocha thugs are looking pretty out of place here. Yo! Akutsu! What are you fools doing in town? Hey! Don't ignore me! <laughs> It's Kaito! Fancy seeing you here! I'm kinda busy here, man. Catch you later. They're looking rather what sus. What asshole. And Jincho's a long way from home. And he's traveling with a small army. Would he have come all this way because of us? Nah, we just caught him totally off guard. He's not out here for us. Gotta be something else. But something's not right if they're just cruising around. Hmm. It's gotta be an RK operation. You brought too many guys for it to be something more personal. Yeah. <laughs> Kamurocho streets can be tough. Maybe they gave up. Well, whatever they came out here to do, we gotta keep our noses the hell out of their business. But you better hustle. You're gonna be late for class. I'll catch you after school. Hi, Kaiko. Oh, sweet, I can use my skateboard. Hell yeah. Going the wrong way. Yeah! Ooh! Oh, smooth! Oh, God! I'm um, okay. That was real smooth. I like that. Let's get those coins. Oh, 
really? Can't use it on a sidewalk. the Falcon T. side gigs. Sensei, do you have a minute? I saw the video of Miko Shibakun. So you did. That video, right? I thought Ahara-san was convicted for a sex offense. How could he be in that video killing Miko Shibakun? But then that video looked so real. Most likely it is. As you unfortunately had to witness, Ahara-san committed murder with his own two hands. Which means as far as the groping that day goes, there's some deception at work. A deception? Are you familiar with Ahara-san's victim in the case? Her name is Yui Mami. I don't think I recognized her, no. Thirteen years ago, she attended Kurokawa Academy. Her maiden name is Yui Suzuki. Yui Suzuki? Just a minute. Are you saying she was the one Ahara-san groped? So you do know her, then? Were you two classmates? We were, in our third year of high school. I had a hunch. You didn't know she was the victim of that whole incident? I mean, it, it's just so hard to believe. Does this all seem like a wild coincidence to you, then? Your old student's father gropes one of your high school classmates at a station with three million daily no, travelers. Speaking of which, the quartet. What are I you need to look up how to get. I'm saying assistance. your old friend Yui might be cooperating with the Harasan, as in she only played the part of the victim. She might have even known it was all to hide a murder. What? But why? Why would she do that for him? She really doesn't seem to know the connection between Yahara and Mamiya. If this is all acting, she's in talent. She's an amazing actress. From where I'm sitting, Sensei, you're connected to Ahara and Yui Mamiya. I just need your help figuring out what that connection is. Yagami-san, please. Are you implying I was some kind of liaison between them? Well, Sensei, what was your relationship with Yui Mamiya? Were you close? Or would you say classmates covers it? The two of us were never really that close. To be honest. I didn't really like the group of kids she hung out with. I guess you could say we didn't have the same interests. When was the last time you saw her? Did you have a high school reunion by any chance? They held a reunion around the time I graduated from college. But I didn't feel like going. That same class bullied a kid into jumping off the roof. So if that's the case, you haven't seen any of your classmates since you all graduated from Kurokawa? That's right. Okay then. The thing is, Ahara-san and Mamiya are connected. It is kind of loose, but it's there. They have one thing in common. What? In both of their pasts, someone they knew was bullied to the point of attempting or committing suicide. Ahara-san lost his son, Toshiro-kun. And as for Yui Mamiya, it's her classmate, Mitsuru Kusumoto. 
That could be a factor, especially for Mamiya. It's possible that Ahara-san would be a sympathetic figure to her. Maybe enough to help construct an alibi for his revenge. It's possible she only played the part of a groping victim. What do you think? Does it have any merit? Or is my theory full of holes? Even if you're on the right track... Um, Sawa-sensei? We're just waiting on you to start the staff meeting. Oh, sorry, I'll be right there. What happened 13 years ago at Kurokawa? That might be the last piece of the puzzle. What about Yui Mamiya? How'd she react when Mitsuru Kusumoto tried to kill himself by jumping off that roof? I'm sorry. I'm already late for my meeting. I'm trying to ask you about a murder here. To Ahara, every unanswered question is a victory for that man. He's only a step away from walking for it. And I know Mamiya had other conspirators. It took more than one person to murder Mikoshiba. They're still at large, even as we speak. I'll be honest. I came here today with the suspicion that you might be more involved in this murder than you're letting on. Uh-oh. A suspicion? Suspicion! Nothing you've said has made me feel any better about it. And what should I do about that, huh? I just want you to tell me... How are Ahara-san and Mamiya connected beyond what I've already figured out? I think you have the key to that answer even if you don't know that you're the one holding it. It's like a lock. And until I figure out how to get through it, I'm gonna keep picking at it. I told you. I'm late for a meeting. I'll be here when you get back. Have a good meeting. <sighs> Suit yourself. Damn, I ain't gonna get them answers. It's not going great, but at least I've learned that she was, uh, that she's classmates with my man. I'll, <clears throat> I'll take the wins where I can get them. Sorry, son, we'll want to hear that later, too. Oh man, alright, let's go. La 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 la, lead the high school. La 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 la, main story. La 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 la, puts his cameras down. La 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 la, going downstairs. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, get in there. Oh yeah, I was going to tell Sorry son about Sawa Sensei and Mamiya. Hey, Sorry san it's Yagami. Hey, did you manage to talk to Sawa Sensei? Yeah, turns out she really was in Mamiya's class. And they were both aware of the suicide incident with their classmate. Good to know. While we're on the topic, Hoshinoku got his hand on the new info. Let's hear it. The bully at Kurokawa High was named Shinya Kawai. He transferred out right after Mitsuru Kun jumped, as if he were running away. Once he came of age, it looks like he worked here in Kamurocho. Mm. Wow. You really can find a lot online. For real. Yes, and to top it off, Kawai earned a reputation for talking about how he drove a classmate to suicide. Like he's proud of it. Mm. Maybe he thought he'd get a laugh in Kamurocho. Probably would. So I was more or less a Yakuza, but we never swore into it. I just sent you his picture. It was taken five years ago. What? This guy? Oh, that same dude. You recognize him? Not too long ago, some RK punks came asking his whereabouts. Said he was a girls' bar manager who went missing. Yeah, it looks like he did work at a girls' bar. But we don't know which one. Okay, so the guy's definitely suspicious. What business would RK have with him? Do you know if they ever found him? No. But their leader, Soma, said something about Kawhi having already been killed. Like he just vanished from Kamrojo a few years ago, and that was it. Wait, he was killed? Uh huh. Kinda gives me deja vu now that I think about it. Here you have Kawhi and Mikoshiba, two known school bullies. And they both end up murder victims? That could be for a number of reasons. It's not rare for people to disappear in Kamrocho. 
Usually the trouble is money or women. Maybe that was the case for Kawhi. Huh. <laughs> Yakuza. Okay. We'll investigate Kawhi a bit more on our end. With our chaos asking around. Money and Word women. Street will be loud enough to hear. It's a call back for you. Leave the high school. Getting DLC. I gotta figure out how to unlock master system moves. No, no, I'm Susan. How was it, sorry, son? What did Yagami san have to say? He said he recently ran into some RK members looking for Shinya Kawai. Did he? He also said RK later told him Kawhi had been killed. Mm. This is getting scarier with every new lead. Now that you mention it, I have seen people getting stopped and asked about someone all over town. But if those were RK on the hunt for Kawhi, would it have something to do with our case as well? Not sure how RK could be involved in all this. I swear if I'm about to play a I'm going out again. for a bit, Hoshinokun. Do me a favor and keep digging up what you can on Kawhi. Wait, what? Sometimes you have to get out in the field. You can't just be Yagami-san all the time. Oh man, I gotta play as her now. Oh my god. You don't mean you're going <laughs> straight to RK for some answers? What else would I be doing? I need to know why they were looking for Kawhi. Then I'm coming with. I can't just let you do that alone. Don't worry, it's still light out, and I plan on staying in the open. Bruh. Besides, if I'm alone, they'll be more eager to talk. That may be, but still, I'll just call you about every ten minutes then, for your safety. I find that rather unnecessary. You sure? Alright, I'm very sure. I wonder if I could play the arcades with her. Oh my god. Is that sorry, Chan? I see. To what do I owe this pleasure? Nice to see you too. Oh, hi. Say, aren't you one of Talk's lawyer friends? Does that mean he's on his way too? It's just me today. <sighs> Fine by me. That means you and I get some girl talk time. Oh, that stings, Mari. And here I thought I had a place in your heart. <laughs> well, no one knows a lady's heart like a bartender. I guess you can stay. Let's see. All these bottles got you feeling lost? Care for a few pours from Thomas? It'll be our secret. Besides, a man with his tab can't complain. <laughs> You're too kind. So I'm actually here to ask you. How can I set up a meeting with R.K.? Darn. So this wasn't a pleasure call? <laughs> well, I'm glad you're at least enjoying it. True. And looking fancy doing it. Oh, please. You two are going to embarrass me. To my apologies. I she suppose so being surrounded by such beauties has a timeless appeal. Even at my age. I'll second that. Masuda here is looking at least a year younger. <laughs> Was that supposed to be a compliment? <laughs> of course. If you got any younger, you'd be much too handsome. What's a girl to say? 
And I'll second that. <laughs> oh no, this isn't good. I'm getting so relaxed. I might forget about work. Anyhow, if you're after an RK rendezvous, the good news is those guys are everywhere. But it's not like a civilian can just stroll up and ask, Hey, are you RK? And expect to get an answer. You got that right. And Sauri Chan needs to ask them something that's kind of sensitive. Well, that's certainly going to make things challenging. Just a bit, yeah. So I say, why not let the boys do the chasing? Wouldn't be hard for an enchantress like you. But honey, we need to do something about your look. Some nice clothes and a little makeup, and you'd be unstoppable. Fine. My turn to second something. I suppose I would need to look approachable. Jock told me once that if you ever felt like it's Sauri Chan, you could put every hostess in Kamrojo to shame. I've got to admit, I'm curious. Well, a good hawk hides her talents. You're saying I should dress like a hostess for this? <laughs> well, I'm sure there are other ways. But if you want a foolproof plan to snag an RK, you got one. If you want, I can get you some looks. And you can choose what you like. I get the message. And I suppose I'll take you up on that. Okay. Then leave the rest to me. Here we go again. I might go for the Kate Green look. I think I had a head start before. Still okay. Trying to change my hair blonde. Yep. There we go. Lips, though. Yeah. Uh, no, it's too pink. Mm -hmm. This works. My eye. Get the... Oh my gosh, she looks like Sarah Bryant. Let's 
go with the blue eyeshadow. I might look. Oh, oh. Mm. Uh. Nah, oh, wait, wait, wait. What was that? What, what was that dress? There we go. That's the cake green look. Alright, this will do. Yes. We're done. <laughs> Imagine. You sure about that, Marisan? I hardly feel comfortable wearing this in front of you. What are you saying? You're so pretty. I wouldn't say so. Really? You're dynamite. Huh. Though there is one thing Gee. that's missing. What, what is that? that? Right. That's the final touch you need. Pride in your own beauty. A girl like Sarah well, Bryant. I'm man. not sure I have that. Then how about your pride as a lawyer? You have that, don't you? As a lawyer? I forgot to change your shoes. Yes, there it is. Go ahead and take a look. Now that's the face of a girl who gets the man she wants. It's been a while since I've felt this way. <laughs> I have you to thank for that. <laughs> These bad boys won't know what hit them. Now, let's go dangle the bait. You mean us, right? You bet. Two nightlife girls like us alone on the street literally brings the RK boys running. Especially along Senryo Avenue. We take a walk. Uh, are you sure? I, I don't want to drag you into this. <laughs> are you kidding? And miss the chance to see this makeover in action? But really, I want you to succeed. I promise I won't be a bother. All right, let's go. Down to business. What's happening? <laughs> this girl said, What's happening? That's my line. All I need is a gun. <laughs> what does Lady walk with me for? I keep hearing that same song in every Yakuza game. Excuse me, ladies. You, uh, get lost on the way to the beauty pageant? We're already out for a drink. Maybe oh, this dude again. Somewhere in town? Oh, we're just two girls bar hopping by our lonesome. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, in that case, why don't you roll with us? I know a great place. You can drink all you want. Wow, you guys loaded or something? We can throw them back, you know. You sure? Hell yeah. <laughs> There's a place my buddy runs. I'm thrilled to see some ladies like you. If they're arcade, then it might be a good to take them on an offer. But how would I know for sure? Let's be real here. You're RK, aren't you? What makes you say that? Yeah. What kind of chick straight up asks if you're in a gang? Huh. 
come on. It was just an innocent question. Besides, everyone already knows. Anyone worth a damn in this city's gotta be arcade. And when you spot one, you just... How should I say it? There's a certain vibe to you guys, you know? True. Guess we do got that arcade swag. <laughs> okay, I mean, swag. yeah. We're just out here playing Corny. the game, you know. <laughs> and we ain't bad at it either. You gotta have a brain to work this town. So, if you ladies gotta choose, choose us. We know how to get ours. You boys certainly talk a good game. Arcane knows what's up, huh? <laughs> right? You must be pretty high up the arcade ladder then, huh? Not just the local chops. Not supposed to be blurting it out, but yeah. We're arcade. Pretty high up, too. Shoot. Arcade wouldn't be what it is now without us. Thought it'd get this big either. Looks like this went well. I knew they had to be with arcade. All I have to do is ask him to go see you kill him. RK has Comrocho pretty much wrapped around its finger now, huh? Just about. The time of the Yakuza are laying down the law is over. All that respect and chivalry shit. Then, like all the old legends. Now the underground world is a jungle. With it fights all that matters. Wow, must be hard. But I think that's hard. That reminds me, weren't you RK guys looking for someone recently? A man who disappeared a few years ago? Oh yeah, him. We were looking for this dude who ran a girl's bar. See? I knew you guys would know what that's about. <laughs> oh well, five years ago he suddenly disappeared. That's not even news in comedy show. That's so crazy, though. What happened to him? You ever end up finding the guy? Nah, didn't work out. No surprise, he was just a punk anyway. His name was Kawhi. The way I heard it, some of his old friends rolled up on him one night. My guess is, he was trouble from another town catching up to him. Ooh. Anyway, they argue for a bit, and it ends with the guy getting shoved into a van. And that's the last time anyone saw the dude. What do you think happened? I'm thinking they bumped him off. If he was still breathing, he'd be back by now. I already never even picked up his final paycheck. I guess he's fish food now. Or they buried him on some remote ass mountain. <laughs> you have any idea who would have done that to him? No, no. They say it was ten or so people, young, both men and women. Doesn't sound like a gang thing. Who knows, right? It was five years ago. Has to be that lady. But if you heard all that, there must have been witnesses, right? So you're saying someone actually saw him get shoved in a van? Yep. Some chick working at his bar saw it all go down. At least that's what we heard from a guy who heard it from that chick. Where is this bar, anyway? You mean some random dive bar half a decade ago? Who the hell knows? A hundred places have sprung up and gone under since. But then, why would anyone be looking for Shinya Kawai now? Did someone ask RK to find him? Think that's right? Well, if I know, it's a question for the top of the food chain. But hold on a sec. Can I ask you something? Huh? Just a minute ago, you mentioned a Shinya Kawai. How'd you know his full name when we never told you? Oh, shit! You're only talking to us because you wanted dirt on Kawai. So who the hell are you? What do you think you're doing? Who said you? I wouldn't even give you my name. I'm gonna let you go. Threats and violence aren't going to work on me. Oh, what have we here? We got ourselves a bad bitch all of a sudden. I'm Kate Green, AMS. Don't mess with me. I'll train. 
That's just the excitement talk. Fight zombies. Big talk for a chick dressed to the nines to get info. Huh? Sorry, Chan? Yeah. You even try to fuck with us, lady! Sorry, Chan! Huh? <laughs> hey, Gashi! Beat it, punk. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I swear, these jerks are popping up like roaches. Yeah. <laughs> no thanks needed. Just be careful on your own, especially when you're beautiful. Thank you so much, Higashi-san. I just said you don't. Wait, how do you know my name? It's me, Shirosaki, from Genda Law Office. Holy shit! No way! <laughs> Holy shit! No way! <laughs> Man, I didn't realize. Shirosaki Sensei. I didn't recognize you. Stephen Bloom, Looked man. Incredible. Toto Higashi. You're the one who was incredible. This is all my fault. I was the one who put Marisan in danger. You really saved us. Young, strong, handsome. That's three out of three for me. Those guys were RK. Town's practically overrun with them these days. He runs his RK full time now, but apparently he still keeps it with the office of fashion insurance. If you'd like, I can escort you somewhere safe. I got nothing but time on my hands. Oh, you don't say. Perfect. Who says we can't still salvage some fun out of tonight? Oh, uh, before we do that, let me call Yagami-san. Shinkawa was a bully 13 years ago. He vanished from Cameron Ocho when he was adopted by a group in the van. It seems like they were all people he knew, and it's possible they were his, they were his classmates from Kurokawa's academy. Yagami's still a jackass, I see. <laughs> Shirosaki sensei calls, you pick up in two rings. It is strange that he's not picking up. I'll try again. Gives me deja vu now that I think about it. Here you have Kawaii and Mikoshiba, two known school bullies, and they both end up murder victims? That could be for a number of reasons. It's not rare for people to disappear in Kamurocho. Usually the trouble is money or women. Maybe that was the case for Kawaii. Even those callbacks. Could be. Okay. We'll investigate Kawaii a bit more on our end. With RK asking around, word on the street will be loud enough to hear. All right, thanks. Now I guess I'll wait for Osawa Sensei. Uh, still a lot of time before the fertility. Fertility meeting ends. It's the fertility. Oh, I miss this one. Oh my god, not this girl.
Oh, I thought that was the arcade for a minute. Nanda Suga, yo. Nandosta. Over here. Uh, what's the basement? Oh, it's all in Japanese crap. Oh, I literally just went outside. So I don't have to worry about that. A little small mini game. Sawa Sensei? I sure did. Yeah, the faculty meeting's over, right? It just wrapped up. But Sawa Sensei went home in the middle of it, about an hour ago. What? Apparently, she got a call from her apartment manager saying her place was broken into. Broken into? Mm. She told me to tell you that if you came around. Okay, then. Do you think you could give me her contact info or something? No, I don't think I can. Oh, I'll just give her a quick call. One moment. No, she's not answering. They're probably busy. But I guess she's home then? I'd say so. Her place is within walking distance. It is? Sawa Sensei lives in Ijincho? Uh, yes, but I really shouldn't be giving that kind of info out. Sure, I appreciate the need for privacy. You've been a big help. All oh, right. So I was this apartment was working into pretty strange timing for that. What's going on? I don't think I should let this go though. I wonder if anyone's who can tell me this house is the address. All right. Why is it dark over here? Oh, it's food stoves. Alright. Now, let me go back to that classroom. That classroom, the office. I guess I went downstairs or other way. I'm my nuts. Oh, it's not letting me out. You got some answers, old man? Nope. Crap, I'm stuck in the school. Hold on. Hmm. Let's 
see. He has to be upstairs. got all these talk about feng shui what's the matter young <laughs> is there still something you need? well do you think you could tell me sawa sensei's address come again not too long ago she got a call that her apartment was broken into and another teacher tried to call her but she wouldn't answer so what are you going to go check on her yourself? At her place? She's within walking distance, isn't she? I believe so. But this is a young woman, living by herself. I shouldn't be giving you her address without her permission. We're detectives. Give us a bit of time, I'm sure we can find out ourselves. But on the other hand, that wouldn't be best for either party now, would it? Then can't you just ask her yourself tomorrow? Chairman, you're aware of the Hiro Mikashiba murder footage, right? Yes, of course I am. But from what I've heard from police sources, it's very likely that video is faked. Well, I have it on good authority it wasn't faked at all. So for the sake of argument, let's say the video is real. And that Ahara is the one behind having posted it deliberately. He's got the criminal affairs department saying it's probably faked. So the police are playing right into his hand. And let's say his motive in all this is to avenge his son's suicide. Justice for his bullying that he never got. Now wait just a moment. We proved in court that no bullying had taken place here. Sad as it was, the trial concluded that bullying wasn't what drove poor Eharaku to suicide. Actually, before Toshiro could kill himself, Sawa Sensei reported a bullying incident to his homeroom teacher. What? But at the trial, she wasn't able to testify to that. She had no choice but to deny the whole thing. From a horror's perspective, that was unforgivable. And after all that, Miko Shiba was murdered, and now Sawa Sensei isn't picking up her phone following a break in at her place. What are you implying here? It's like you're saying she's going to be next. Oh. I just want to check up on her. If it turns out the break-in is linked, turn right around. And I'll make sure nobody knows the chairman gave me her address. Well... Fine. I understand. So since his apartment is in, uh... Daikoku Ten Avenue. That should be near Hamakita Park. Now let's get out of here. So maybe I get used to my skateboard? Let's find out.
side missions. No time for that. We gotta find baby girl. Use my skateboard too. Here we go. Watch this, watch this. Oh, never mind. Hell yeah. <laughs> I always wanted to do that. <laughs> Alright. Get out of here. Alright, I'm sorry. We're almost there. Solid sign, I'm coming for you. Woohoo! Oh, never mind. You thing messed up on the blue freaking groove. Oh shit. Ouch! Oh, I'm okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Never gonna catch me. I used to be a lawyer. I used to be a lawyer. Oh, wait. Oh, sh no, 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 no. No, no, let me in. Well, the chairman told me that Sawa Sensei lives here in apartment 304. It's on the third floor then. quieter than I expected for a place that just had a burglary. So this is apartment 304, so I was since it should be here. Raining is pouring, the old man is snoring. Alright, he's coming to the third floor. Jen? What you doing here? Kawana? What the hell are you doing here? <laughs> that was quick. I guess we couldn't ask for a better piece of bait. Kick us off, Akutsu. You ready for round two? All right, chapter six is finished. Toshiro Ehara over the edge echoes a previous tragedy. Years before, another boy attempted suicide and remains comatose. Yagami makes his way to Sawa Sensei's apartment, hoping to get some answers that will shed some light on the incident. But, as if by coincidence, he encounters Kawana instead. What ties could an earnest school teacher and an underground handyman share? Let's find out. In Chapter 7 Blindsided. <laughs> Come on. 
Moana? What the hell are you doing here? Did you forget to mention you had a connection to Sawa Sensei? Or what? Awkward. Do you or not? And don't pretend you're just here to fix a toilet. Nani? Yo! What are you doing here? Ooh, my nuts! Get off of me! Now it's RK on top of you? Yagami, we've got more incoming. I think I only have one of this. These idiots aren't after you. It's me they really want. And I just walked into their trap. What could they possibly want with you? To come all the way from Kamarachu? Akutsu. What is this about? Why do you want her? Looks like they don't feel like talking about it. Get these two fuckers first. But try to leave them breathing if you can. I got something for your ass. Alright, buddy. It's time to get it. You can go. Ooh, that hit. By these legs, man. My high water jeans is no joke. <laughs> All right, Jen. I need you to do something. I'm about to get slammed. Oh, shit. Shut your ass up. Ho, ho, ho. Ow. Chicksaw. <laughs> Don't stab her. Do something, man! I'm getting my ass beat! Oh god! Oh my god! I messed with the wrong ones. Come on, sucker! Ow! Get off of me, fool! Oh shit! Damn! No, trying to parkour your ass. Damn, he was tough. <laughs> he was real tough. 
Fucking punch. You stupid son of a bitch! Just stay the fuck out of our way, young mate! Bitch, you gonna get the fuck off me? I'll beat shit out your granddaddy. Talk for me, man. Sawa Sensei, you okay? Yes, I'll call the police. That would help. She got beaten. Me. You go ahead. You're the one they're after, aren't you? I owe you one. <laughs> Take Yagami out! Just leave the us. There's back up downstairs. We'll be right behind you. I don't want none of this. There he goes. Now that it's just us, shall we start from the top? Come in here with the last mistake you'll ever make, you fuck. Hmm. That's what your mom would say. Come on, arcade members. Come on. Hey, yeah. Nani? Hey, we don't block here. Hey, that man restand. All right, man. You gotta get it. Get down. Ugh. God, shit. Catch these legs. Good guy. Thank you, man. Walk on. Oh, shit. Bad mistake, Chief. Turia! We'll be seeing that over and over again. Get down. Game over. Zawa Sensei. Don't open your door until the cops get here, okay? I have to go make sure Kiwana's all right. I'm fine. But actually, how do you and Kiwana know each other? Zawa Sensei? Fine. Just please stay in your room, okay? I need to find Kiwana and make sure he's alive. Why the hell is Kiwana? Okay, after him. Huh? Wait. Hey, you're yogging me. Our key backup is here, huh? Really rather be going after Kwana right now. All right. But I can't just leave these guys alone if I leave a finger out. So saw it since they. Hey! Hell, you looking at? Way through. Not trying to get in our way, are you? Koi. Cool. Yeah, I am. But I'm in a hurry myself, so I'm not gonna hold back, all right? Yeah. Big words for a little shit. They're nothing without your friend Kaito. Yeah, right. Too much you got, big boys. Let's go. Oh, y'all got this one? Trying to use crane. Ah, that's it. Oh, 
Oh, go to sleep. Yeah, go to sleep. Yeah, go to sleep. No weapons for you. Take that coat from you, my dude. I want that drip. Hey, trying to screw with RK again? You better be ready to get your ass. Are you get the my one what? screwing with me? Besides, I'm not behind any of this. All right, enough of your bullshit. You better say a quick prayer, asshole. You better do the same, my friend. It's time to die. Give me a drip. You bastard. Shouldn't have taught me. So I'm gonna do it on him. What a waste. These guys are pathetic. Hey, it's Kuana! Don't let him get away! Was that arcade just now? Sounds like they're going Kuana. I've gotta hurry. Alright, let's go. Come to rescue you, Kuana. Oh shit. What are you doing? Kuana! Hey, been waiting for you. You a slow runner or something? Uh, they got here before I did. Oh, this dude. Logging me. Sticking your nose in your business again. How about I stick you in an oil barrel and see if you float? That's a halfway decent threat this close to the sea. Ooh, the great detective sounds intimidated. If we make it out of this, I've got some questions that need answered. Sawa sensei won't talk. I wouldn't worry about the future. <laughs> Your life is going to be too worse. Yagami! Yay, Yagami! Come on. Let's go. Bring it on. Oh, shit. Stay down. Slap down. So mad. Shut up, man. Show you my black Upgrade my 
skill points. Three more target skills, got it. Trying to, but you open my ass. <laughs> Let's see. Ow, back of my head. All right. Stay down, would you? Not happening. We got more goons. Good luck, Yagami Kun. What? You leave me behind? Oh, you asshole. Shit. Oh, shit. I'll show you. <laughs> I thought he almost had me. I was like, watch out! Woo. He is gone. Talk about a close call. Kiwana? Hey, Kiwana! Well, fine. At least you could have done to say thank you. We ain't done, Yagami! Come oh, on, man, you're a tough exterior. I get you want to play tough, but do you ever quit? Yeah. It's not over till it's over, you little shit. How's that? Sawa Sensei. Stop it! Someone's here too? <clears throat> I wouldn't have expected you and this bitch to be connected. What the hell do you think you're doing? This has nothing to do with her. You're the detective, aren't you? You figure it out. Uh, time's up. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, my Reeboks. Toss his phone before we go any further. His GPS will lead his friends straight to us. Smart goon. <clears throat> Don't think I wouldn't know where it's at. I'm the player, remember? Hey, 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 hey. Yaga me. Eyes on shine. shine. <clears throat> there he is. I was starting to worry you might not wake up. My men are glorified amateurs at this stuff. The technique for knocking someone out takes practice to get down. So, uh... Oh, good. No brain damage. Man, I'm glad you're tough as nails. But now we can get to the fun part, huh? Yagami-san here just saved your asses. You wouldn't be standing if he didn't come around. There's no way we could have known this asshole would show up. Not my fault everything went to shit. This was your operation anyway. Fine. It's okay. But you need to make sure you keep your boys in check from here on. 
deal between you and that lady teacher colleagues it's a few days ago fuck are you talking about stay out of this huh i'm telling you to shut up and leave this to me i'm focusing besides yagami-san here is telling us the truth <laughs> he's just being a little vague is all so what do you mean sawa sensei is your colleague I was asked to look into a bullying case in Serial High. That's all I meant by it. How about that? What'd you do to her? Oh, she is sound asleep now. Sure. Our business isn't with her, anyway. You want Kamana? Right. About that. You keep calling him Kuwana. That's not who we know him as. Huh? Huh? Kuwana is his alias. A fake name? That's right. So tell me, what is he? What do you know him for? Oh, you bastard. I'll kick you your ass. two seconds to answer. What does this Kuwana guy do? He's a handyman. A Nijincho. Everybody knows him. He's been taking jobs in the area for a long time now. A handyman, huh? Well, from the way it sounds, you haven't known each other very long. <sighs> yeah. His real name's Kitakata. Ring any bells? Kitakata. Well, there you have it. Your face says you have no idea what the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> so then, any idea where your Kuwana-san went? We have some business with him. I wouldn't tell you even if I knew. Of course you wouldn't. And I suppose that's not a lie. But it's probably more accurate to say you don't know where he is, either. Turns out you don't have a damn thing on him. <sighs> Shit. Know what that means? What I mean. It means you have no more use for me. Shame to be smart and still lose, huh? I got a question for you. Did you really think you'd walk out of here alive? Or is it gonna be in a body bag? The fear in your eyes tells me everything I need to know. And you're probably right. <laughs> you aren't gonna enjoy what little time you have left. It's gonna be painful as hell. I'll be the one enjoying it. What brings you to a chin show and after a teacher? And why Kawana too? How do you even know him? I could tell you this little part and give a good night. Sometimes the feeling is so generous. Mm. Oh my nuts. Oh god. Ooh. Damn, they beating the fuck out of me. Oh, no. 
Life out of me, man. Oh, Jesus. Damn. Pretty boy detectives looking rough. But you didn't think we were done yet, did you? <laughs> hey, fire that thing up. Get him on his feet. And I don't want to see him squirming. Oh, hell no. Nah. They better go violence jack on my ass. Not the chainsaw. Not every day you get a chance like this. Record this shit. Yo. How quickly can a chainsaw kill a guy? It should be the video title when we upload it. This kind of shit gets so many views. Am I right, Yagami? You're an asshole, you know that? We're going slow and get your fingers all cut to shreds. <laughs> we'll take that up to the right wrist and switch over to the left side. Why don't we make this formal? Take first dibs. You show us how it's done. You want me to do it? Time to man up. We gotta show the world what happens when you fuck with our gang. Killing shits like you is what puts hair on your chest, guys. Just try not to kill him until everyone gets a turn. Don't do it, man. Get to work! But, but sir... Figure it out. I could soon. He won't do it himself, you know. <gasps> Recording it puts the evidence of a murder out there on video. And he won't be on it. But you guys will be. Who do you think they'll come for, moron? You still talking? Fill <laughs> your intestines on the fucking floor! <laughs> Oh, the squad. Oh, <laughs> Kaito Seguro. Yo, we got company. That's right. Who the fuck? You know what time it is. What the hell? How'd you fucking find us here? Uh, uh, Kaito Seguro. Suppose I ought to thank you boys for keeping talk nice and comfortable. I could soon. Yeah, but we were just getting to the grand finale. You two can have front row seats. I'll pass. This show kind of sucks. Block all the doors! These three are fucking dead. You hear me, boys? I don't want anyone leaving the building! Good call. I don't want anyone leaving either. That's all I'm done with you. Oh, oh y'all can still kick ass. Oh. Ooh, I don't want none of this. Even though y'all beat the hell out of me. Still got my Reebok. Feel free to take a breather if you need to. I don't know about that Kaito son. He's got that look. That's the face he makes when he's got a score to settle and some ass to kick. That's right. You still haven't gotten your fill of this Yagami? <laughs> I'll admit this is kind of fun, man. Maybe killing you would be a mistake. I've got an even better idea. I'll tell you what. Keep you as a pet. You know what? I think I could punch you as many times as I want right now. In circumstances such as they are, no one could even blame me. Huh? I'm saying I've earned a little payback. Akatsu. Let's go! Let's do it. Alright. I'm pumped. I need some help though. They got a chainsaw. Fuck. Let's go, boys. Oh shit, he just took out half my health. I don't have a smartphone right now? What you mean? Move! Oh, you guys are assholes. I need this. What the fuck? Oh fuck, man. I need to disarm him. 
No, let's move. Help. Bullshit. Bastard. What's wrong with you, man? Oh, oh God. Fuck that chainsaw. Ooh. Oh god. That was confusing. Back of the head with my rebox. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. WrestleMania! Buddy boy. <laughs> Rinkin time. Ooh, God. <laughs> he almost messed me up. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, brutality. <laughs> oh. oh, my God, Yagami. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. What the hell does our cave want with Kuro? What did he do? Tell me how Sawa Sensei and Kawana are connected. You ask too many questions, you fucking asshole. Tell me, why go to all the effort in Kamurojo to find Shinya Kawai? What are you trying to do? Invincible. And he's faster than he looks. Asshole. He knew it was a lost cause, so he took off at the first opportunity. I'm guessing that's why he was holding back. Mm. Are you serious? He couldn't be that sharp. Uh, he's definitely got some skills. Definitely. We better start taking him seriously. Yep. Man, I was coming with a damn chainsaw, man. <laughs> I was like, fuck this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Good lord, man. You almost got me. I had 
no idea you were doing so much. I'm just glad you had in mind to tip off Kaito san. That is funny. Yeah. Calls. I've got Tsukumo to track my phone over GPS and locate me using the town security cameras. Long story short, you saved me. I had to try something. I'm the one who dragged you into this after all. But you know, the first person to suspect something was higashi san He thought it was strange for you to be suddenly unavailable. <laughs> Better thank him too. By the way, I'd like to share the details I recently gathered on Shinya Kawai. Kawai was a bully at Kurokawa Academy. Five years ago, he was abducted by individuals thought to be his acquaintances. A worker at a girls' bar witnessed this, and based on that, RK apparently deduced that Kawai was murdered. Got it. Then I suggest you steer clear of RK as much as possible. You fly off the handle faster than the Yakuza. Thanks. Mm -hmm. I never imagined dangerous. We just got back to Sawasensei's apartment. I thought RK was in Kamurocho looking for Kawai. But they came to ambush a handyman named Kawana. Did you say handyman? Yeah, but he plays a wider field than your average Mr. Fixit. He's popular on the Jincho underground. Even Kawana was a fake name. And this mystery man had some connection to Sawasensei? Yeah, and I'm about to ask her about him directly. I need to get everything I can out of her this time. Understood. We're still dealing with a lot of unknowns. So take care of yourself, okay? Yes, I'll be all right. I'm with two guys I can trust now. Yep. Yo, what's Sawa Sensei's room now? Just hold your horses. I'm coming with you. All right. Just gotta get back to the baby girl. Anything that happened here. <clears throat> Sawa Sensei, you there? Geogamy. What's up? Uh oh. The door. It's unlocked. Huh? Sawa Sensei? Oh no. No, boy, talk. Damn it, Kaito's about to get his girl. Dang. I think she bit the dust, guys. Oh my god. No. No. Dang! No way. Kato got the girl. Oh god. Oh. No. Damn. Oh. Alright, I think I'm going ahead and end the stream right here, guys. Gotta get prepared for work. Uh, I will resume this stream as, I, as soon as I get back from work. Alrighty. Um, I should be back around 10 p.m. ish, depending. Uh, so if you want to keep up to be notified when I go live, you can follow me uh, at Korimuru on Twitter. You can also follow me at twitch.tv twitch .tv slash Korimuru and youtube.com slash Gaming. Alrighty guys, take care and I'll see you guys later tonight.